bro, just think about it. You can still, you're just going to be in like a big brace to hold you up. You cool. Nah, you can still bro. see. You're going to take vision away from other people. Bro, but like, you know how useless that is? Imagine. Just to have legs. Bro. That's it? <laughs> it's just a leg. Just boy. imagine a kid just, a kid, a normal kid, he just wakes up one day, can't see. Bro, that's his fault, bro. What you mean? That's your <laughs> fault. That is your fault, bro. I'll tell you to wake up that day. That is your <laughs> <laughs> Nah. <laughs> Nah, bro. That is your fault, nah, bro. bro. I'm not doing that to myself. Why? Niggas is selfish, bro. There are 7 billion people. 10 million people? Bro, they still alive. They're just blind, bro. That's a terrible life. Imagine a kid like one years old. He can't see bro, shit. I gotta fucking live a shitty life, though, right? <laughs> nah, what the hell, bro? He made it, though. You would have made We would have. We would have made it, my dogs. What, Dakota and Boomer? But, like, we were too, like, worried about, like, bro, he won't be humping on everything. But, like, what if you just let him have it, like, let him, like, get his nut off and then just clip him afterwards? That's what we should have done, bro. <laughs> and then Dakota, we was all worried about, because what happened to my, 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 my cousin's family dog when she had a period, that shit could track more dogs. Oh, yeah. She could, that shit gonna stink low key, bro. <laughs> fucking bleeding. And then, nah, the dog's periods last for like a month, too. Like, it'd be long. Just like as a, hell. like a, a, a girl's period, bro. No, a girl's period don't last a month, though. But like I don't know about that <laughs> shit, bro. I, <laughs> like, look, don't forget. I, I, don't, I told you before. I woke up to blood on my chest, and I was confused. I'm like, nah, this has to get. <laughs> this has to stop now, bro. Wait. Oh yeah, you did tell me that. Wait. I, so when'd you get uh, Dakota spaded? Let's see. We we didn't do her shit right away. I was gonna say we waited a little bit, and then we did her shit. I think we did her right before we knew we were gonna get boomer. <laughs> Nigga say he woke up with blood on his chest, and like, there was like a little trail to my kitchen. I just see her sitting there. I'm like, bro, you good? I'm like. So, okay. So, I know, I know, like, dogs be, girl dogs be having, like, attitude. Does Dakota, because the, the, does Dakota be that having, shit, like, attitude honestly, and shit? That shit didn't. I thought I was going to fix her attitude. That shit literally did nothing to her, bro. So, she still has attitude? Still acting like a little bitch, bro. <laughs> Isn't bro. that weird, bro? That is very strange to me, bro. I thought it would have fixed. I'm assuming, I think it worked on Boomer, but not for her. Why? Because Boomer don't be humping no Boomer's more? Just, uh, he just all soft now and shit, but her, she like, you know how she be, bro. Yeah. That, she don't play that shit. But, th like, think about it, bro. Like, all, like, girl animals, you think that's, like, how it is for, like, other girl animals? Like, they have period, like, not have period, but they have, like, attitudes and shit? Like bro, I can't imagine be? that shit being in a wild, bro. Like, and a tiger getting their period, <laughs> the whole force is coming for her, bro. <laughs> nah, that's no, that's so <laughs> bro, that's bro, my cousin's dog, Husky. Was in the backyard. Yeah. Had her period. A fucking stray pit bull wandered back there and gave it to her, bro. Nah. I had, a, I think, like 11, like seven or 11 puppies, bro. Wait, it was a random dog? A stray pit bull, bro. <laughs> nah, no, no yeah, way. Bro. It was a, hu a husky like, pit bull miss. Like, they just. <laughs> Wait, so. I don't know. I don't know how he got back there, bro. But <laughs> nigga found he, a way? He, he finessed. That's some horny shit, That's bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nigga was determined. <laughs> I tried to get that cool. <laughs> nigga was climbing fences. You ever seen that video of the dogs climbing fences and shit and chasing after niggas? Nah, I don't know how them dogs be doing that shit. Bro, they be jumping the fences, bro, and chasing after niggas. Like, the big pit bulls, bro. Bro, I don't understand how they be having so much, like, stability in their legs to stand still on, on certain small ledges, bro. I don't know, you bro. You don't got thumbs, bro. How the fuck do you do it? It's that low center of gravity, bro. But, like, yo, I... Like... I remember, remember you was talking about how you getting like the, the Frenchie and they got to clip their nose because they can't breathe well. Yeah, you know, right. that's so I think that's like a like a, a birth defect because like, you know how like that's like like some inbreeding shit because like, you know how they inbreed dogs together. They're not well, supposed to mix them. Frenchies, pit bulldogs were never meant to look like that. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like they like genetic. So now like their freaking breathing patterns is fucked up because they noses, bro. Well, I know recently I know hella people. I, th I think the Frenchie I I'm getting is like a pure Frenchie. The shepherd scene people have is like a fucking. He like wide as fuck. Yeah, okay, I know. That is that the bully dogs? I don't know. I think it's like a, a bully mixed Frenchie. Bro, that shit, that shit just looks that shit just looks painful for them, bro. Cause I don't know if I told you, like my cousin had a like a them little bully dogs and he couldn't walk up the stairs. Cause like he's them dogs that he's like this. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. See, I don't, he kinda I, walk up I, the I stairs. don't want to deal with that, bro. He, yo, he died in like four months, bro. He had like a he had like like stomach cancer. See, bro. The nigga a puppy. How the hell he got cancer already? That's that's great. That's that's the get my money back, bro. Hell, bro, them dogs be like five thousand dollars. It'd be hella like I know two chains bought one. It was like a special one. It was for like nineteen k, bro. Nineteen. Okay, what are they putting in these dogs to make it nineteen k? Like, is this nigga gonna like? I think it's just the the probably the way they look in the fur. Let me look at the most expensive dog. 
expensive. Well, a dog that I really wanted was a fucking uh, god damn, what what are they called, bro? It's like a smart ass. It's a it's a herding dog. The um Tibet Mastiff. It's like another type of herding dog. Damn, I gotta look it up. Is bro. it like the Beethoven dog? They're small. They're like they're like furry as fuck, like him, bro. Are they called like fucking not Shih Tzus? Oh, uh, border collie. Oh, border collies. Okay, okay. I know you're talking. About. Those. That's basically like Dakota in them. They look. Yeah, but this dog is like way known to be way smarter. But oh you gotta really? Be way, you got to be more on them niggas. Oh, they got. But they shed more? like they, they shed like Dakota and Boomer. Bro. Oh hell no. Herd, I think herding dogs are just known to shed a lot, bro. Makes sense. So they just, they just look pretty as fuck. Like a like an Australian Shepherd. Damn, I'm, motherfuckers look pretty, bro. Isn't that what Dakota is? She's an Australian cattle dog. Australian Shepherds. They be having like um. Let's they got see. bigger coats. They be having like one eye blue and the other one be fucking Oh, brown. I seen that one. I seen that yeah. one. I seen that one. Oh. Oh, like these ones? That shit's gorgeous. Nah, bro. these shit's not. These are the dogs that be in the movies and shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. But, yo, the most expensive dog is the Tibetan Mastiff. Let me see how much, bro. You want to guess? Four bands. 3000 to $10,000. But look, look how big that motherfucker is, though. That's well, just like a lion. Part of the $10,000 was just like the... It's like you got to be like a special breed from like... Because they, they rate them off like... um. The f- the mother or father that's what that's what they, they oh like how big they are or something yeah that's crazy and the motherfuckers like this big bro yeah I know they yo these niggas they they say these niggas like eat bears like attack bears I don't know about eating bear but I do they hunt they they go off to hunt bears and shit or like protect the cattle or something like that bro they so too- wait okay so boomer and them they're cattle dogs so they're they're bred to protect the cattle yeah, from so animals like, so like my dog right so boomer they're, can they're, kill a dog they're known to like low key herd people so like. Like Carson, they like in a way heard him. Like they want him to go in the corner and shit like that. Like that's what they meant to do. So like around the house, they low key like her around him to try to make him force him to go into this room and shit. Really? Like, swear to God, bro. Same thing with Tony when he was getting when he was like getting older and shit. Like the coda was just more hurting. Not Boomer. Like she got more of the hurting DNA than Boomer's just a goofy motherfucker. Like she's just like like try to push him into. Yeah, the but corner. she does it in an aggressive way. That's fucking weird, bro. Because like I know. I know Corey has an Akita. What's that? Akita? Yeah, you know what Akita is? Bro, them shits is huge. Uh, freaking Bishop. I brought him on the pod. He was on the pod one time. He has one of these dogs. Oh, that's an Asian dog, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, this shit. Bro, his dog is huge, bro. But wait, which one? Is it the small one? No, it's this one? one. This is exactly what Corey's dog looked like. That's pretty. That's, that's the one Drake got, right? I, I don't know. Drake, maybe. Drake got that dog. Really? I feel like Drake got hella dogs. Bro, this nigga head like this big, bro. As big as fuck, bro. He was here. Yeah, he was here on the pod one time. I, it was like a, it was like a minute ago though. But, dang, we we didn't introduce the pod yet. Do you want to? Hello, people. Welcome to the No Regulars. <laughs> I'm your host, Spooji, aka J Boogie. I'm here with the hosts of the Mostest, D Walks, aka Latrell. Big walk, big walk in the building. <laughs> what episode do you think this is? First guess off the top of your head. This is one up. <clears throat> 110. Damn, you're way off. <laughs> it's 124. Welcome to episode number 124 of the No Records Podcast. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I have to start saying this now because ever since I said this, they're starting to like the videos a lot more. What? We have to threaten them to like these videos. Because I mean, if you don't if you don't like this video, we will be at your crib. Doing what? 240 PM tomorrow morning. That is PM is afternoon. <laughs> so, <laughs> 240 PM afternoon. Is that what I said? Yes, you said no. You said 2.40 p.m. tomorrow morning. 2.40 tomorrow, basically. We're going to be at your crib. And if you ain't liking this video, we will beat you with a bat. A bat? We'll yes. beat you with a dog, bro. We'll bring, we'll bring a dog and Yo. beat you with the dog. Get How many how many likes you want? Because we're, already, we're about to hit 50 on one of these videos. Should we say... I don't know if 50 is a stretch or should we just say 40? Because they've been getting 40 the last two weeks. 60. 60? If you don't get 60 likes... 60 likes on this video and comment down below. If get, not... You will get strange individuals at your house tomorrow. Strange. Very strange. By the end of the week. By the end of the week. Because of it, uh, this pod comes out tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Sunday. So, But thank y'all again for supporting. Tuning in. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. We're almost at 9,000. I think we're at like 8 point something. That's crazy. Yeah. We're, at 10, we're not even at 10K subs on freaking YouTube. But we're almost at... We're over half a million on TikTok and damn near 30K on Instagram. Like, where are y'all like... Can y'all watch the other shits? Gotta but, follow through. But hey, bro, it is what it is. I hope you like the dog content. There's a dog in the background eating a bone. 
and shit, but he's not coming on camera anytime soon. Fuck no. He might. He might. He be he be wandering. Yeah, he be wandering. We're trying to lighten up Jordan because he's getting a new dog. So <laughs> <laughs> this nigga don't like it's too much stress. It's a different type of dog from what I use from what I usually get. Jordan has big. I was gonna say fat. Yeah, fat. He is fat, bro. Don't you walk? You walk him though, right? Yeah, he just I don't know, bro. He's just over. He, I think I think it's literally just he just he just fitting into his name, bro. Boomer, bro. <laughs> think of the 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 fat zombie from Left 4 Dead. That is my animal right now. <laughs> but not that big though, but he's he's pretty large. Like now nah, you make know, them noises, bro. Wait, he'd be like, bro, he'd be making them fucking them grunting noise like a fucking <laughs> zombie, bro. He'd be sleeping. You know that you ever watched? You know Shrek. Remember, remember that Shrek movie when that nigga was picking out balloons and he got animals and blew them up like balloons. Oh yeah, he got the frog. Yeah, that's what that's what your dogs be looking like. They blow up Yo, like chill that. Chill out, bro. He ain't that big, bro. But he got some weight to him. They type large. Chill, Dakota Loki. She she a little chubby too, bro. She lumpy. She lumpy. Hey, bro, you gotta get him on the treadmill, bro. Bro, you know you know what's funny? What? I want to get this treadmill. Is that the one for dogs? Yeah, it's like it's like it's like a it's not like an actual treadmill. It's like a fucking thing where they walk and it like it like goes at their speed. Goes at their speed. Yeah, it that shit like, like six hundred though. Yeah, nah, that's bread. That's not. And that's I don't even know where the fuck I'm gonna put that shit. Yeah, you nah. But I, I heard know. that shit helps though. Real, what like well, them losing weight and shit? Yeah, cause that shit keeps them hella active. Like, um, put like a fucking little piece of treat right there, bro. Let the motherfucker run for it. Nah, I know. I, I wanted to put him on the treadmill and see, like, put him on like a leash and see like how long he can walk for. But I'm afraid you're gonna trip and like start like tumbling. See, that's the thing. You, you gotta you gotta really watch them though, bro. Cause I'll be looking at them shit. So I'll be like, damn, what if his little little foot gets stuck in that little yeah that little crevice? But I could just see him like looking out for me like for help because he's tired. Well, looking at him, but I think he be like he'll enjoy that shit. Yeah, he does. Like he, bro, this man, this dog is like like got Tourette's or some shit, bro. Like he, like he be, you know, the dogs that had the zoomies, bro. He's, he yeah, them? he be having the zoomies, bro. Yeah. Every time I go in the house, he just be running all over the place, just run, like jumping, like and like. All right, so. You know how your dogs, right? If you leave, whatever, they'll just stay with you, whatever. They'll just, like, say you leave your room. They'll just stay in the room and just chill out. Yeah. He don't do that, bro. Oh, he got to follow you? Yeah, he always follows me everywhere. I think he got, like, separation anxiety. Look at this motherfucker. Nah, my dog Loki got that shit, too. <laughs> Fucking, what was it, the other day, bro? Um, Yesterday, two days ago. Yeah. Fucking, um, motherfuckers came in the house. And I was going to take my dog out, bro. I'm like, bro, let me, let me take a shit real quick, bro. So somebody came in the house while I was taking a dump, bro. Yeah. And I guess they didn't close the door properly. The court, I guess my man Boomer just said, bro, I got to use the bathroom on my own. He went outside by himself, I would assume. And I came up to so I'm like, where's this man at? <laughs> and I was on the toilet for like, like 10 minutes. This man was, so I go and say, I'm like, yo, where the fuck Boomer at? I'm calling him. This motherfucker was outside sitting on the steps just waiting for someone to open the door for him, bro. Really? <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Oh man, that shit had me scared, cause bro, my fucking my mom's her 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 coworker friend lost a dog on some shit like that, where someone the door was open, and he just went out and they he, just he, he passed away. He, I forgot how he passed away, but he passed away. They found him later on, passed away. I'm like, bro. But you know, Boomer don't be leaving you. Like he don't go on the street, bro. But like that shit that got me scared, I'm like, bro, cause like he was outside. What if he was waiting? Like, he was waiting for someone. Now what if a random person? <laughs> come here. Uh, him, I don't. You think Boomer would go for somebody? I don't think he would. I feel like if someone had, I don't know, bro. I'd be thinking like he might fold for food, but would he really fold for food from a random person? He's so fat. If he does, <laughs> he's such a fat. <laughs> I'm also saying he's, he's he's fucking greedy, bro. I oh hate that God. shit. Only Boomer, I really bro. feel like he could really be tricked by somebody with food, bro. <laughs> Dakota, I need to put a picture of a maybe Boomer. two. Also, nah, no way, bro. That's why um we got. Air tag, but I want to get the air tag that you put in the collar and shit, bro. But you have you have like the shit on them, right? Like in the like in the skin. That, that tracker, that shit is only meant for if someone finds them lost and they have to take it to like yeah, a you pet gotta call. take them to the pay cup. That's hello. Wait, so what do you mean you got an air? You got an air tag where? It's like it's like a regular air tag. Like I just hang it on that collar. Oh, okay. But I want to put it inside the collar so it don't look so fucking noticeable. Yeah. Oh, so niggas don't like take that shit yeah, off. Yeah, someone just take that shit off, bro. Dang, bro. Yeah, bro. That's wild. They need to find better tracking shit because that little GPS chip, bro. Shit only works if someone takes it. Now, what if the person decides not to take it? I always thought they have to make some shit, especially. I, feel, I always thought that you could just go on like an app and you could see your dog. I, I think they have some stuff like that. That shit probably bread though. That shit is bread, but like. That shit where you got where you got to rely on someone to take your dog somewhere to exactly and then, might, then they gotta call you yeah, yeah nah, that's I too think much some work. people did that just be on some 
some asshole shit. You'd be like, nah, free my dog. dog. <laughs> yeah, bro, free dog, <laughs> my bro. My dog now, bro. But nah, niggas be. Hell no, bro. But, oh, I got I got something we could talk about today. So there's been a lot. All right, have you been seeing all the, the new, like, games and shit and movies that have been coming out? Have you seen, I know, I think we talked, I don't know if I talked to you about it, that new Suicide Squad game. Are you buying it? Yes, indeed. When does it come out? I think the early access comes out in three days, but then it comes out like I think February second. Okay, so how? So is it like co-op? Is Bruh, it, Cause that shit looks tough. The way look, how it bro, is. Let me tell you. I know I got information about that game, right? Mm-hmm. See, look, this is a a live service looter shooter. So it's like a game where you can always upgrade your person, upgrade their guns, uh-huh. and and shit like that. And like you, it's like. On a, on some Fortnite shit where you collect loot all that shit right yeah I don't know if you remember before where we played like in the very beginning of Fortnite it was yeah. a zombie version where we was fighting zombies and shit like that oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah it was yeah. called Save the World yeah 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 something like that where you get to collect loot and you save it and you come back all that shit oh that's how it, but that's I heard the- they like they took elements from all type of live servers looter shooter games and they just implemented into their game so like it's gonna be better than fucking like that dark that uh, Dark Knights game or the Bat Family game whatever. That, talking about that Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. Definitely better. Okay, okay. The story the story looks better. The graphics. It looks just, way better. Just the the gameplay looks more fluid, bro. I'm definitely copying it. it. Looks like a major. I think people are gonna sleep on it. It's just the fact that it's a it's four players. Mm-hmm. That shit's heat, bro. That's what I'm saying. Me, you, ish, UJ. We could just go crazy in that shit. Cause I know UJ says he's buying it, and then if you buy it, it's gonna get it. Yeah, bro. I, I think. Need, I need people not to sleep on that game because then I think you could like go against your friend and shit like that. And I think like it's, then they're gonna have like seasons like like on some Call of Duty like battle oh, like pass, uh, battle pass shit, but they're free. Oh really? Yeah, bro. So it's gonna have the battle pass then like a premium edition, but from you don't need that premium. Basically, shit gonna be free later on. It's gonna be like a new DLC. Yeah. Every three months. Really? Like I know the first month I think in March DLC one is gonna be like. They're gonna add a playable character for each each DLC. It's gonna be Joker for this one, mm-hmm. and then Loki like, type tough, and then it's gonna be later on like other motherfuckers and shit like. Because I know the whole point of the game is like trying to like, yeah, like, save the Justice League because they got like no. a little Joker shit no, on you them. Gotta kill the Justice. You gotta kill the Justice League because what they have like Joker Venom or some shit. Nah, nah. nah. So it's in the game. It's a, a villain called Brainiac, and he's like a Superman yeah, yeah. villain, mm-hmm. and he mind control these people and basically. Oh, okay, makes sense. That makes it's sense. just Loki kind of sad, and I don't I see my people go out like that. The only issue people don't like about this, right, is because I think the last Arkham game from Rocksteady came out, like, in 2014. That was Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, yeah, Both yeah. Motherfuckers love that game. That was one of my favorite games. Mm-hmm. And then for them to transition to this type of genre of a game, people were like, bro, what? We want another Batman game where we fighting and shit like that. Oh, uh, I get you. People didn't like that shit, so that's why a lot of people... That's why you're, gonna, really... you're still going to see people hating on the game, all of that shit, but... Just because it's not Batman and they want yeah, to be like... Yeah, uh, Batman's in the game... But we're but, gonna you gotta kill that nigga. What is it? It's Batman, Superman, Batman, Superman, Flash, Flash, Green John La- Stewart, yeah, Green Lantern, yeah, and Superman. Mm-hmm. Is Wonder Woman in there? She's in the game, but she's gonna be helping you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and there's, and there's a part where you fucking watching her fight Superman. That shit's tough as fuck. Bro. Really? Okay. So how is it gonna work, right? So is it gonna work like how freaking? So say you beat the game, and like there's a new battle pass. Are they gonna like update like the new missions you could do, or is it? Yeah, like I heard, like each season is gonna be like it's gonna be like two episodes, so you could probably do hella like there's it's some shit called end game where like after you be- beat the campaign, you get to like they got some shit called else worlds where you you beat the game and then you go to like a new multiverse type of place you get to fight like a new fucking villain or some shit like that. Oh really? And then you come back and collect the loot, all of that shit. That shit sounds tough, bro. It, it the only issue I can see for us. That shit could you gotta take some time to Loki learn because that shit could Loki f- be a little confusing. Oh, okay. it's like hella numbers and, and reading and shit. So oh, it might be a like you have to pay attention and shit. Yeah, Loki a little bit. But, but you, I heard I heard they got an option where like you could take off hella, hella like um the UI like you could change that shit up. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know you like them single player games and shit like that. I love single player games, bro. Yeah, I know you like that of, shit. I'm one of them people. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Nigga be playing. Nigga be how how long did it take you to be Spider Man? A week. A week, bro. I thought it was good. I love it. I'm fighting looking. that shit in two weeks. Nah, but right now I'm waiting for like them to add like a new update for it. What? Like, like new game plus. You know what that is, right? What's after that? You, after the... you be, after you beat a game, all the all the the fucking upgrades, all that shit you got you got beating that game, mm-hmm. you get to carry all that shit over to like a new save file. Oh really? So yeah. Oh, that's you not bad. Smelling my gooch, bro. You good? I think you're a freak. 
The fuck wrong this nigga? Probably smell my dogs, bro. <laughs> and yo, did you see that new uh, Avatar show? I saw like a little bit. It's a show. I thought it was a movie. No, it's a TV show. Oh, it is. Yeah, that shit looking clean. Yo, I t- I'm saying, bro, that, that shit, shit looks type clean. tough, bro. The freaking they had the uh, the bending and shit looks type, and, and like I feel like they have. Cause you know there's like three seasons of the Avatar. Yeah. I don't know how many seasons they're gonna be of the show, but they're they're they had like the snippets. They had um. What I'm assuming they're gonna they're probably gonna have one season first. Yeah. See how motherfuckers react to it, and then they're gonna keep dropping it. It looks way better than the old shit. Remember that old fucking Avatar movie, with the yeah, it was like a it was like a Nickelodeon movie. That like shit didn't do 15, that, sh- that shit didn't do too well, bro. That shit fucking sucked, bro. That shit didn't do too. That well. shit was as worse as that. Remember that Dragon Ball? I know you remember that Dragon Ball. <laughs> <Z movie. laughs> Panda today that was crazy. Bro, I was gonna say that shit. Too. Dragon Balls, that shit was fucking terrible. It's some stuff that should just stay animated. They, tr- bro, that nigga looked like he was wearing Echo shirts. Then they, they had Goku in an Echo shirt. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. <laughs> that was wild, bro. My man, Goku was wearing Skechers in the movie. He was bro. wearing, yo. Chi 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 was like a fucking. I think Bomo was like a mercenary, bro. Yes, bro, she bro. Then you seen that nigga Piccolo? That's Roshi was not bald, bro. bro like, nah, nah, bro. The nigga Piccolo looked like fucking. He the only one that looked like he could probably be comparable to his anime version, bro. Nah, bro. Piccolo looked crazy, bro. He looked like fucking the nigga from. He looked like Mega Mind. <laughs> He, yo, the nigga had like a big ass head. Like that shit didn't even nah, look like Piccolo. That movie was terrible, bro. I think that literally is the one of the worst rated movies ever, bro. It has to be. Either that or Sharknado. But Sharknado, I feel like it's bad on purpose. Yeah, I feel like don't don't type of weird shark movies where you got the three headed shark and shit like that. I feel like those sharks are meant to be booty on purpose. Exactly. So I don't I don't really do too much with that shit. What's the purpose of making a bad movie on purpose, bro? Isn't that like wasting money for budget and stuff? I feel like, like they hope it's so bad that people are gonna like it and think mm. it's funny. Because like look at there's like shark there's like seven Sharknados. What, what movie I could say, like, you know what movie I watched recently that was like Good, but like type bad. What? I uh, remember when we watched him. We went to the Poconos. Uh, meet the Blacks. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know they came up with a second one. Yeah, I did the Meet the Blacks two or some shit. That shit was kind of. It was mid. It was kind of mid. I ain't. I heard it, bro. They got like niggas. They have like it's like and old. they got good actors too in the movie, bro. I don't they know. Got, uh, my boy Cat Williams. Did they have like the nigga King Batch in there? Yeah, they got that motherfucking kid. Any movie with King Batch in it is fucking horrible. Yo, I nah. Hate that nigga King chill, the Bryce, first bro. Meet the Blast shit was fire, bro. That was good. Funny, it was funny, funny, terrible, bro. But I feel like they took too long for them to bring out the next one. I think we, we watched, I think the, the next one came out like 20, 21 or 22. Yeah, and then the, the first and I time. Hear, I didn't even hear shit about it. Because no, bro, it was like mid, bro. Like, because I remember the last one was. What, 2015 or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, some shit like that. 24, like, yeah, 2015. Then, bro, took a mad... Like, I feel like they tried to make it like... Remember that that uh, movie with the Waynes, bros? Yeah. Like, it was like haunt, a haunted house or some shit like I that? I think it's because they want the characters to grow. I feel like that's the reason. Bro. Like, get older. Because in the next Meet the Black movie, the fucking son was big as fuck. Oh, yeah. He was tall <laughs> as hell, bro. And, and the daughter was grown as fuck. So I'm like, um, I see, I see the reason. I feel why. like they're they trying to—they was trying to compete with that haunted house movie with the with my, uh with the one in the Wayne Bros. Because that shit was funny as fuck, bro. You remember that the gay uh the gay priest they had, bro? <laughs> that nigga, bro, bro. The nigga was like, he was like, yeah, I was giving to her the tornado. The nigga almost nah, passed out, bro. No, nah, that's wild. That nigga, that shit, bro. I mean, I, I mean, I understand sometimes why movies take long to come out. Like another movie that takes fucking. Long as fuck to come up, but plan already has a shit planned is fucking Avatar. I was just about to say Avatar, but like I feel like it's gonna be moved back now. Like I think this one came out. That shit came out what the late twenty two. What this this no, new no, no. one Avatar two, twenty twenty two. Yeah, came out I, it came yeah, out yeah. December twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think that next one's supposed to come out like twenty five. Nah, I think no, like no, 20, it's, 26, nah, nah. bro. No, no, it's 26 now because of the strike. But it was supposed to come out in 2025. Bro, like, what's the reason, bro? For Like, I'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with taking long, but, like, God forbid someone from that support from the movie passes away, bro. I know, that's so Because you decide to make a movie 10 years apart, bro. Like, come bro. on, bro. And it's like, they have... I think they're making two more movies. Yeah, I think, I think they said they already planning on talking about making Avatar 4. Yeah, so, bro, I have, I have no fucking clue, I'm going to be like 40, bro. Exactly. Waiting for that shit <laughs> in fucking IMAX theaters, bro. And even... It, what the hell is uh, event the Marvel doing, bro? What is, well, what what is their path? The only thing the path is, is, is being hold, held by is that new Deadpool movie. Oh, with the uh, Wolverine? Good, I got good hopes for that, bro. 
I hope it's good. It gotta be good, nigga. They got Wolverine in that shit. There's no way it's mid, bro. Wolverine and Deadpool. I gotta see how they gonna. I want to see how they gonna implement that Wolverine. Like, is it, it been a? I feel like they're gonna do some multiverse shit. I hope they really don't. Because you gotta think about it now. Because this is the first Deadpool movie with MCU. This is MCU Deadpool, isn't it? Or is I, this still Fox? I can't remember. I think this might be MCU. Deadpool. That's what I'm saying. Because the first two, I don't think it was, but I think it's Marvel still owns the rights. But I don't think it's it was still with Fox. Directed. Yeah, it, it's like a, it was like the X Men and shit. Yeah, I think type type shit. That's what I'm saying. I think this one. That's what I'm saying. I think this one when they introduce Wolverine, I think he's gonna be like the Wolverine from that into like a new genre because yeah. they have to they have to show because who the next villain is because in the, the the Logan movie he died, bro. Oh, so there's like a so you don't like another pull universe? no shit out your ass and be like, yeah, he regenerated, bro. Nah, this shit got. I think it's like a like a new like a another another multiverse or some shit. Technically, I don't know. Cause then I'm I'm hearing shit like Spider Man Four, freaking Tom Holland. He's like, eh, I'll come back only if the script is good. What does that mean? I hate when I hear people say that shit. Only if the script is good, bro. Like, bro, that nigga Tom Holland depressed, bro. You seen that shit, bro? You literally have Mary Jane Watson as your girlfriend, bro. Wait, why is he Mary? Did you just say like she is like Mary Jane Watson? She is, bro. She plays Mary Jane in his yeah, girls and there. She plays Mary Jane. But yo, like, yeah, that's tough to live a live a comic book dream. He is, but niggas said like he's been depressed because like how the movie's been like going and shit, like how all this shit is happening. Cause like, have you you know that new movie? All right, you know that nigga that that uh goes out with uh, what's what's uh what's one of the Kardashian girls' names? Fucking uh, Chloe. No, no, the not it's not Kardashian. It's a fucking it's the other two. What's her um, name? Not Kim, right? No, not Kim. Not not not. Uh, Kylie. Yeah, it's Ky- Kylie Jenner. Oh, the the Willy Wonka. The boy. Willy Wonka nigga, bro. You know she she's in a movie with that nigga. Oh nah, bro. Bro, tell me. I fi- this is what I think, bro. I think that nigga Tom Holland was so de- like was was supposed to be in that movie with Zendaya, but he like he took he's taking a break off acting for like a year, I think. And I think they put him in, but he looks low key like Tom Holland like a little bit. Bro, you about to have that man not even want to freaking play Spider Man no more, bro. Who, nah, if that nigga takes his Spider Man away, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> bro, because my shit is this, bro. You you literally have to do at least uh, at least one more, bro. But you gotta do it with a finale, bro. Cause you you left off with this motherfucker. He raced everybody's memory. He's he's like a whole new Spider Man. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You literally. And he's talking about like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna come back with the script not good, bro. Just do it, bro. Exactly, my nigga. <laughs> Just do it, bro. You can't do that to us, bro. He's literally. I know the script ain't gonna be that that bad. I think. I think a lot of them are sad too, cause um, who left the the MCU? Fucking James Gunn. Yeah, he he went to the DCU. Yeah, I hope that now. I'm hoping that's gonna. He's be making good. Superman's legacy. It's new, a whole new DC. Universe. Is that a show? Is that a show or is that like the movies? Nah, movie. Okay, good. Like good. I heard they already casting some people. I seen Superman. He's like just... I think the per- if I'm not wrong, I might be wrong. I hope I'm not. Yeah. I think the person that's playing Superman is the one from Smallville. I think so. No, no, no. I think it's another dude. That's I think they saying. cast think another guy. I think they kind of look at they, some They wanted to get the nigga from Smallville, but I think it's somebody else. Like, it's a younger like it's a younger guy. Like, he actually, like, I, built like Superman. That would have been fire, bro. Hey, man. I just think... I just feel like Tom Holland got to be Spider-Man because he's the face of Marvel now. Like, the okay. MCU. Because they get Tony Stark is dead. They Captain talk, America gone. They were talking about Chris, about Chris Evans. Like, would you ever make a return? He was like, mm, I'll come back and maybe if they had the right, if they had the right script. Bro, like, I keep hearing all these shits about the script, bro. Do they not have good writers at Marvel no That's more, That's what I'm bro? saying. Like, where the fuck these niggas going? Bro. All this nigga Chris Evans do smoke weed, bro. Bro, niggas all I know, be they, high as fuck. I know they folded ever since I seen what they had, what they did with fucking She-Hulk, bro. Uh, She-Hulk was really that bad? It was terrible, bro. Uh, I ain't watching, but I just seen hella reviews and clips. I'm like, bro. It's gotta go, bro. How's that new? What about that new show, Echo? I heard that's pretty good. Oh, I don't, I never watched. I ain't it, watch bro. it, but I think it has like more to do with like fucking. It's like Dare, Daredevil. Daredevil shit. But I heard it was like a more adult like show. Like there's like blood and like they killing niggas. Yeah, because I know they got Kingpin in that shit. Yeah. See, that's a good way to introduce someone in there, low key. Because then with the I TV think, shows, I think he could be a fucking fire villain in the next Spider Man, bro. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like the next Spider Man, they're gonna have like Spider Man always gotta fucking be, bro. It's like a, it's like a known rivalry, bro. I feel like because then you could introduce someone like fucking Hobgoblin or some shit, bro. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they're gonna go straight to Venom, bro. Bro, yeah, because I forgot they got that fucking um, they got the symbiote Loki in the, in the MCU universe. Yeah, they, he dropped a little bit in there. Yeah, bro. so that, I guess that's like somebody's gonna get like infected with that. I don't know who's a little ass be. sample, bro. I don't know. That bro. shit not gonna do nothing. How you feel about that nigga uh, Falcon being Captain America? Or how how do you feel about the new lineup of the so called Avengers that they have? It's gonna be like Shang Chi, fucking Falcon. Then I know the, the the girls taking the um 
Black Panther spot. Yeah, the, the and his then sister. The, the other girl, she take with the Iron Man suit. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what her name was. The yeah, but that girl, the one that was in the Wakanda movie, and then Spider Man. Supposedly, I don't even know Spider Man's in that shit. I mean, hey, bro, the the that's the, a mid Avengers. The Avengers lineup. is all in the comics. Always has a different lineup. Like it's always been been a bunch of different people. But not those niggas. That <laughs> niggas look fucking mid. I think what they should do focus on right now. Okay, for Fantastic Four, bro. Yeah, I'm saying like you got either Fantastic Four or fucking X Men, bro. Bro, because they already low key disrespected Fantastic Four in a way. With that the, one movie with the, the Michael B. Jordan. What was it? Was it? It was a, the Doctor Strange multiverse. Shit. Oh, when fucking what's his name got killed in like two seconds. Yeah, fucking uh, um, Reed Richard, bro. Yes, he died. I'm like, bro, are you serious? I know he got incinerated, bro. Literally bro. got turned into like fucking paper. Bro, they made everyone look dumb, bro. Freaking, um, what's the other guy named? I think named Bolt, not Bullseye. Black Bolt. Oh, Black Bolt, yeah. Bro, she did him wild, bro. Nigga got imp- nigga. Now nah, he imploded. <laughs> he imploded. That nigga imploded. Yo, that's a crazy way to make someone to kill you. Make you kill yourself from bro. the inside. Yeah. Hey, man. I mean, they, they make it seem like she's a multiverse cosmic being and she could destroy it all. She low key can, but like, I don't uh, think they made her too OP. I feel like they try to make it like Dark Phoenix, bro. Or like Phoenix. See, bro, if you have someone like Dark Phoenix, bro. <laughs> nigga, them shits is, that shit was OD when she, the bro, literally, she just creates, she creates anything out of nothing. I'll take her over Scarlet, bro. Hell yeah. What the See, fuck? See, now what if they introduce her in the, in the Deadpool movie, bro? I'll be bogus. Because they got the X Men in that in, in the Deadpool. Yeah. The Deadpool, uh, Isn't it, doesn't Wolverine like love her too? That's like his girl or some that's shit. His girl or some shit. He was I don't nightmares. know, bro. She was she, she, he was having nightmares with her, bro. Uh, I, I don't. Hey, bro. They're in, they're at a point where they they don't have a, a villain right now. Man, I'm at, you made me rec- reminisce right now. Them X Men movies are really fire. They were shit, great. Bro. Those are good movies, bro. bro Such one with like Wolverine like as the main main protagonist. Like um, I forgot the movie was called where. He went to Japan. Um, X Men Two. I don't know if it's called X Men Two. He went uh, to Japan. Um, he had to fight like a fucking like a cyborg made out of adamant ad- adamantium. Um, was that uh, X Men Origins? Maybe because there was a part where fucking Last Stand. I don't think so. Okay, there was a part where he fucking saved someone from a nuke. You ever seen that scene? Nah, I haven't seen. I can't, yo, I can't remember the old I know, the, ones. The X-Men was a low-key kind of, I because, think the names. Because the, yo, the X-Men movie wasn't in like reverse or some shit, like the way that they like came out. Because like the last one that came out was yeah, Future then, Past. Yeah, because then they did that one and they went back in time to get like a, to get Wolverine or some shit. Yeah. To fight like the young fucking um, Magneto. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't watch that one, but I think they had like Apocalypto. It was like the main. That like, was the last one. That was the last recent one. I like I like that one. The one uh, Wolverine went back into the past. I kind of like that one. X Men First Class. Now X Men First Class was low key up there, bro. That was a great movie. That was like the because I feel like they changed it. Like oh yeah, the one I'm talking about is literally just called the Wolverine. The Wolverine, yeah, that's the um origins. But I'm saying, bro, they can't. Yo, fuck you, think this they up. Could, you think it could ever be a, another another Wolverine as a as an actor? No, cause I feel like he looked too much like Wolverine. I feel like you can find one, but it's just gonna look like off brand. He got the he got that look, bro. He got that look it's and like, the anger down, bro. It's hard to it's hard bro, to be Wolverine. Like, I mean, I, but like I'm not trying to be mean, but like he look he getting a little what old? He getting old. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I, I, I don't want to feel like we're forcing that motherfucker to be Wolverine. Yeah, like I feel like whatever Did he, he done like before. Did he like beat cancer too? Yeah, cancer know. or some shit. I don't just feel like I, I be feeling bad when I feel like people trying to force someone to come out of like retirement. Yeah, whatever to do like a certain scene, like bro, just let me be, bro. Like I, I did what I did, just just yeah. take it as it is now. I, especially since acting is pretty hard. But I mean, I can understand for this type of movie, like Deadpool. It was like kind of like, bro. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. It's a Deadpool movie, bro. You need you need Logan and Wade, bro. Logan and Wade, bro. We'll see, bro. We'll see. They I think can... it's supposed to come out like July. Yeah, I think it's July 26th. Let me see. Let me July check. July 26th. As I know, Ryan Reynolds. Dead. He, uh, three. And uh, I forgot his name, actually. The Wolverine guy. I forgot his name. Yeah, it is July 26th. Woo. Uh, um, Logan? Not, I know he's Logan, but like the actual actor. Oh, oh. It's um Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Hugh I, Jackman. I think he made a tweet. He was like. He was like, it was all fun doing the acting, all that stuff. He said, the only thing I hated was the working out. 
Nah. What's he said? I was like, damn. Because he's old. How old is this nigga? This nigga's like fucking 50. 55, bro. 55? Yes, he's old as shit. And he has to be ripped like that, nigga. I don't... I'll be, I be tired, too. Straining your body, bro. I'll be tired of shit, too, nigga. My bro, body not see, how it used to be. Bro, if you can CGI the Hulk muscles, bro. I'm pretty sure you can CGI muscles on him, bro. I know, but, like, that shit gonna look too weird, though. I feel like it's not gonna look right. Bro, they did it... I guess that's what they let like remember remember in fucking Shazam where they CGI uh fucking the uh the rock and made that nigga look skinny. In Shazam. No, uh, uh Black uh, Black Adam. Bro, but Black Adam was tough to me. I know. But do you remember when they CGI'd the nigga made him look skinny and how l- weird he looked? Bro, but I don't know why they had to CGI the rock though. He was already fucking No no they fit. But like they had to CGI him because like they had to make him look like he didn't have powers. Mm. Because like oh yeah. in the beginning of the movie when they mm. showed him how, before he lost it, before he got the power yeah when he was, when he didn't have no muscles bro so I don't know man hopefully hopefully this year is a good year for movies because I'm I'm I think looking. that's the only movie I think that's the only thing Marvel coming out this year what Deadpool three yeah well that better be good then fuck I think because I think there's been hella stuff about people getting laid off and shit like that too but, but gaming and movies mm-hmm. so I think Marvel said they're gonna I think Disney, right? Yeah. I think Pix- the, the studio Pixar's. Yeah. I think they laid off like fucking 300 of their employees, bro. Really? Yeah. That sucks. That sucks, bro. Is it just... It's probably because the, they probably just need bread, bro. bro. I don't, I don't want to say Disney's to blame for maybe Marvel's downfall, but you could look, you blame a little bit of them low-key. Didn't Disney like buy some yeah. of Marvel? Low-key. That's, they, they, ever since they went to Disney, they started becoming ass. Low-key, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, they only had a couple good movies at, from last, like we'll see. The 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 second Wakanda movie. Yeah. That movie was fire. And then after that, what what else was good? Guardians of the Galaxy two three, that's it. Beautiful movie. That was it. And then after that, there was nothing that's else good, peak, bro. Peak cinema right there. Damn man. So we'll see. But I got a question for you, right? So you must survive against one of these villains in a mall for thirty minutes for a hundred million dollars. So in a mall, it's just you and the villain. And you have to hide from him for a, for a whole for thirty minutes. I have to hide. I can't try to fight him. I mean, you could if you want to, <laughs> but me, me names. it's the Joker, Carnage, Bane, or Doc Ock. It's over for Carnage. No, hell no. I'm not. I'm not. No. Bane is done up. Whoa. You said Doc Ock. Yeah. I'm. I want to pick. I just Carnage is gonna be scary as shit. Cause for one, he could just run through walls and he just looks scary. And imagine him, Carnage. You could. You could be able to y'all to stab him when he's in his human form. If you don't know anything about symbiotes, bro, they literally resurrect you from fucking dying, my boy. Yeah, exactly. I'm, but are you gonna try to fight these niggas, bro? Joker might be your best bet. But I heard he Loki. He got that. Joker got, got the, the fucking. Hit, but Joker, Joker, Joker is like sneaky. He got that experience. And I feel like I'd be more scared, bro. Bro, because you can't get caught with that laugh, guys. That's what I'm Joker, saying, bro. bro. Like imagine he's like he's just walking by. He's like, "Where are you, Jordan?" Just put a little smoke bomb in that shit. That shit's crazy, bro. You gonna put a smoke bomb? No, not him. Exactly. Doc Doc might be. It might be Doc Ock. I think it's Doc. It gotta be Doc Ock. Bro, he got fucking long ass fucking tentacles, bro. But I'm just saying, like, you gotta think. All right, you got a picture. Joker. Because you can't do Bane. No, you can't do Bane. Well, you, if, if you want to do Bane, you got to cut off his fucking... Uh, the, little, the, the little juice. The, the, the tubes, bro. But like, there's no Batman way... struggle with that shit. Yeah, there's no way you're getting up there, bro. Because I'm trying to think of somebody I could run away from and hide from. So maybe I might pick Joker, mm-hmm. but I just feel like if he catches me, it's going to be a terrible death. I'm picking Joker, bro. Imagine he gets you, bro. It's over. Like That's a terrible bro, death. Bro, you got a better chance of fighting him because like I said, he just... More of a casual ass person. The only thing he, the only thing that makes him really dangerous, cause he's like fucking. He got he plan shit out. I don't know, bro. Like he be having little gadgets, low key like a Batman. That's what I'm saying. Like, like if he has, bro. if he starts throwing the Joker gas out, you're done, nigga. He throws that now, bitch what, in every store. But like now, what if you go to Doc Ock, bro? He grabs you by your arms like this now and your legs. What you gonna do? Plead for help. Like bro, I see the little cat. Cause I feel like his, I feel like his little fucking uh, his little arms gonna low key find where you at, bro. Don't they have like the mind of its own? Yeah, well, yeah, basically. That's that's what I'm saying. I feel like they are gonna fucking find you. You got your best bets with Joker, bro. If I'm in a, if there's a Dick Sporting Goods in this mall. I think I have my percentage of living is higher. Why are Dick Sporting Goods? Because they got weapons. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, I'm gonna get the flare guns. Flare. Yeah. I'm gonna get the hockey sticks, the golf clubs he got in there. Nigga, what they got actual gu- what the fuck a golf club go do to these niggas, bro? They got weapons in there, bro. They got guns, they got the skeet shooters, they got the fucking uh the flare guns. 
Nigga, I'm getting the flare gun and just sending the bitch a flame, bro. Just 30 minutes. Nah, bro. Cause you got a chance of burning your, yourself up in fire, my boy. I'll be all right. Just shoot forward, shoot forward, bro. <laughs> nah. I'm picking. I'm picking. Nah, nah. I'll pick Joker though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I pick Joker. You gotta pick the Joker, bro. All right, bro. I got something for you. Now, all right, right, go ahead, go ahead. The most famous question that I think people been hearing about: Hulk versus Kratos. Okay, so I've been seeing this all over Twitter, and I have to admit, I feel like everybody's sleeping on the Hulk. Bro, I think it depends on the version. Which I, I that's what I hate about low key Marvel, Marvel and like MCU. DC. Like this. Well, it all depends on the version. Why can't it just be fucking one version, bro? Exactly, it's one version of Hulk. We all know how how Hulk is, but I feel like the MCU version of Hulk. People are looking at him because he's a bitch. Bro, I'm picking Kratos, bro. I'm picking Hulk. I'm picking Kratos. Just okay. Why though, bro? He's literally fucking taking down gods, my boy. I mean, I. I think in a comic book, even Hawk got laid out by fucking Zeus or some shit, bro. Okay. But I feel, though, this nigga Hulk destroys planets. You think because he, cause he, cause he bigger than Kratos? No, I don't think so. But I feel like that nigga, I feel like when Hulk is at his absolute, like, rage, highest of rage, he can destroy anything. Bro. This you know what I mean? No, The bro. nigga destroyed the whole planet. No, I understand it, but, like, my man Kratos took down a fucking person. Holding, I think uh, it was fucking Kronos. I forgot what that motherfucker was holding, bro. Oh, the nigga that holds the world was, up. He was holding the world up. Kronos has got his grandfather, bro. He killed that. He did kill him, bro. Come on, bro. And he killed Hades. And he killed Hades. He killed Hades, bro. So is Kratos the most powerful uh, yes. character that we ever seen? Because he killed gods. He ain't being Goku, but yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying, my nigga. Is he go? Be, is he better than Goku? No. If, if, if that's how you talking, he could kill Goku. Bro, no, bro. What no, you mean, that's, no? That's a whole different ball game, right there. How's bro. that a whole different ball game? This Fine. nigga's gods, bro. Nah, bro. Go yeah. is Goku not no god? Is he? He is a god. Bro. Okay, that nigga could kill gods, bro. And then Goku went toe to toe with a man that tap tap the table, beers, uh-huh. right? Tap the table and said because he ain't like the food. He tapped the table and split the planet in half. He go to toe to people like that. Kratos, <laughs> nigga, Hulk could do the same shit. Nah, bro. The Hulk could split the, split the planet in half by doing just one big power bro, bomb. This man Kratos took down Hades, bro. That's the god of hell. Okay. He took his soul. Then he fought Hermes. Hermes? Took that nigga head. That's the nigga that with the the, the, the shit on. Yeah, bro. Then he like take took his... his head, and then he took his shoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? He fucking killed fucking Heimdall, bro. I think Hulk could kill one of the Bro, he killed Heimdall. That's like a motherfucker with Ultra Instinct, basically, what Goku got, bro. Heimdall, his power is like, it's called Foresight. So he literally thinks what you're going to think right before you do it, bro. Which is a crazy power, bro. (laughs) So you're thinking Goku could stop that nigga, Kratos. Yeah, bro. No. (laughs) Look at this nigga. nigga, You just kind of contradicting yourself. The nigga Goku. The nigga Kratos. I'll tell you how Kratos compares to Hulk. I'm saying my man Goku's a whole different ball game, bro. He ain't I taking think... that. He ain't taking that punch. I right, want to do a real battle. What about like fucking, like fucking Hulk versus Broly, bro? I still think Hulk, bro. Bro, this man Hulk ain't like that. He's dumb. I... Like if we put a version like fucking MCU Hulk, he's getting he's okay. Getting but tortured. we're not doing version. <laughs> we're just doing Hulk. What do you think of Hulk, bro? Nah, Hulk destruction. is destruction. He is straight destruction and anger. That's what Broly is too. But like nowadays, bro. But does Broly really have like cause bro, I don't you know Broly when I think Hulk do. is he don't got good combat for me fighting skills, bro. He knows how to fucking punch you hard as fuck and lay your ass out. But like you someone with Kratos, this man got fucking fighting skills, bro. He know how to jab, weave, all of that shit, bro. That's Kratos, I don't bro. Know, bro. If you seen way Kratos was fighting Boulder, bro, let him do that to Hulk, bro. It might not be easy though. It might not. All right, let me think. All right, I got I got another question for you, right? I got another question for you now. Oh, nigga, slump. Yeah, I know. You knocked out. So now we're just talking. We're not talking about no powers, no nothing. Just, just straight hands? Just straight hands. We got Hulk. We got Kratos. We got Goku. And we got... I'll let you pick the last one. Who do you think got hands, but no, don't really get talked about like that because he got hands? Hmm. I was going to say Superman. Bro, his, all his powers are just coming from powers, bro. That's what I'm saying. So I, I, I put. So you can't put Superman in here, bro. What you mean, Superman? It's just straight hands. I was gonna say Thanos. Nah, hell no. Thanos got them hands. You saw what he did to Hulk in the movie. Man, fuck that. <laughs> that, that, that. Me and him going, me and him going to hibernation, bro. 
I'm a, I'm gonna pick Superman though. All right. So it's gonna be Kratos, Hulk, Superman, and Goku. Straight hands. Straight. So we're gonna talk about straight hands. No powers, nothing. Like you can't go flying, bro. No flying, nothing. Just straight hands. Goku. Martial art, martial art master. Okay, bro. Goku might artist. be fucking niggas. All right, Hulk. Hulk is done. Hulk is fucking done. I'm telling you, Kratos, Superman is done. Nah, but, you can't do that to Superman, bro. I feel like Superman don't really got hands like that. He I feel do like got, he just can't show him because nigga, he be laying niggas out. Bro. I, that's what I'm saying. I feel like he's just like I feel like he is like has just brute strength like the Hulk, but he don't really like be beating niggas. Like he don't really got like technique to the shit. All right. I'm gonna do some cheese, right? Instead of Superman, right? Go ahead. If you put Batman in there, but give him like the same durability as like fucking. That's what I'm saying. No, oh, the oh, same. If you put Batman in there with the same durability as like Kratos, that might be interesting, bro. Okay, so we're gonna put Batman instead of Superman, but they're all like the ba- the same base. They're just fine. Like imagine they're UFC fighters. Batman with Kratos durability is dangerous. Nah, but they, there's no powers though. They don't have no. They don't have none I'm of them have durability. No powers. He just got the same. Like if you punch him, he can he, can, he gonna eat it, but. I st- if Batman okay nah Batman fucking up go Batman fucking up the Hulk Hulk is getting fuck- Hulk is the first nigga out of there bro all he dude's got Bruce Stain but does learn. Kratos really have hands like that for real bro though, I gotta show you this man is this man is lethal bro he got okay. hands bro so especially the especially the Kratos now bro he just all he just more about them hands bro so Kratos is fucking up Batman. It's good. It'll be a good fight, I, but I feel like Kratos I, fucking I think Batman. So, yeah, now. Kratos is, is doing my man. Batman. And I feel like Kratos is gonna fuck up Goku with just straight <laughs> hands, bro. Just straight nah, hands. Kratos bro. is gonna fuck up Goku. Nah, think bro. about it, bro. Think about it. You just said he 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 defeated gods with with straight hands. Goku did too. Like Kratos don't probably. really got powers like that for real. He just got strategies to kill these niggas, but he got the hands. It's like the thing about Kratos. Like I won't say he got ne- necessary powers. He's a he's a demigod. So yeah. He got the durability of a god, mm-hmm. but like he he don't necessarily possess the powers of a god. Like I'm saying, like fucking bro. like a Thor could fucking wield lightning and shit like that. Mm-hmm. He more relies on like his fucking weapons and shit like that. You know what I'm, know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I I'm saying, bro. I think Kratos. So I'm saying Goku don't use weapons. He just use straight hands, and he he just. That's a good. That'll be a good fight though, because Kratos. I've been hearing Kratos is like the most OP nigga outside of like Ben Ten. <laughs> That's low key, bro. Without powers, it's gonna be between Goku and Kratos. You know what would be fire, bro? A Kratos, like a God of War movie, that would be fucking. Heat. I think they're doing it. They're doing a show. They're 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 trying to make the show right now. They're planning to do it for Amazon. It's Amazon Prime though, so you know that shit gonna be good. Amazon Prime show movie shows do be good. Amazon Prime. They gotta have good fighting good. scenes though, bro. They gotta have good fighting scenes. The thing, the thing is, I want to know who they're gonna put as fucking Kratos. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have to pick it. You have to. They have, it has to be a blockbuster nigga. They was thinking about the person who voices Kratos. But don't he look, does he look like Kratos? Uh, he not. I know not he don't got a baldy. Because the shit with people saying is you could just fucking paint him over like ash white. But like, if you're gonna do like origin story of Kratos. I think he was type dark skin when he was younger. Yeah. And then I think um after he killed fucking the god of war, then he got his fucking the, the white ash put over him. The person who voices him in the game is low-key buff as fuck. I can see him do it because he got see. he got that voice too. But people are saying he can't really be him because his it's, voice is too iconic as a game and like Oh, this nigga wait, isn't this nigga I thought his name, name like Chris Chris some shit, right? Chris Judge. Ain't he gay? Nah. <laughs> he gay, bro. This man gay. He large though, bro. That nigga buff. I think he's playing um uh uh what's the nigga from what's the nigga from DC? Wait, go you can I think you can see the movies he probably done in, bro. He's he's being uh not Doomsday. Dark side. He's playing Dark he's this nigga playing Dark Side. Yeah, I think he, I, suppose, I think he did some DC, I think he did a fucking villain or some shit. This voice deep as fuck, bro. Oh, he'd probably be a good dark side. Like, boy. Uh, he might be able to play Kratos. Nah, bro. I think you gotta do like some fucking some military ass motherfucker that's rich, yeah, bro. Yeah, you gotta do like a nigga like fucking. I don't even know. I can't even think. It gotta be like a, a Nordic nigga, like a European type of nigga. Like he can't be like a nigga from America. Nah, but the story would have to. I feel like the story should follow what the games like. Yeah, you can switch up a little bit, but you gotta follow dude with the games, bro. Like mm-hmm. from the first one, bro. I, the first one, I just think if they would, if they would like that CGI, the the graphics for that movie would be fire, bro. That would be tough. I would watch that shit, bro. That budget gonna be high. Hell yeah, but, but fuck it, my nigga. See, what what movies that you know that that need a lot of CGI, you gotta be careful because that CGI can fucking ruin it too, bro. Yeah, it'd be too much, bro. 
whoever made Avatar, go make that shit, bro. That y'all niggas like what? Mm-hmm. What CGI I heard was good. Um, I seen some clips like the the One Piece. Oh yeah, I heard that's pretty good. I heard that was pretty good. I heard the CGI wasn't that bad. The Avatar CGI is pretty good. Godzilla, Godzilla movie is pretty good. Godzilla minus one. I heard that's so, pretty good. Beautiful CGI. Did you see the Dragon Ball the... Evolution? No, <laughs> nah, don't bring that shit back up. But yo, I got I got a story. Since we talk, since we got talking about powers, I got a story to tell you, right? So there's this crazy story I heard on the internet, right? Of this nigga who got possessed and got powers. Got possessed and got powers. Yes, bro. I could see something like that happening. But like, it's like he can't control. It's like some crazy shit, right? So I think this was like in the '80s in Pennsylvania, and his name was Don Decker, and he went to he went to he went to prison for a year because he he had like a violation, or whatever. So they put him in prison, but they they brought him out for like a weekend to go to his grandfather's funeral. But he hated his grandfather because he used to abuse him all that shit. So why they make him go there? He, he just wanted to be free, to be honest. Oh, uh, so he was like. Okay. Yeah, he just wanted to be get out, honestly. But he hated his grandfather. But he got mad because all these people were, like, sad for his grandfather. But he was a terrible person. So at the funeral, he just dipped out. And he went to his... He stayed the night at his friend's house. And then it was... um, It was right before dinner, right? He, he goes into the bathroom. And he start, he couldn't breathe. Like, it felt... He said he started, like, breathing weird. And his heart started beating hella fast. And he said in the corner of the room, he seen, like, an old man... With like a crown on his head, like smiling and laughing at him, in like the, the mirror. I think I don't know if it was the mirror or in the corner of the room, but it was like an old man smiling at him and laughing at him. And the, he said the nigga attacked him, like he had scratches on his arm, but he just he just act like nothing happened, like he was just saying like he's like hallucinating, whatever. So then, yeah, right? Nigga said, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just eat it up, bro. He's just like you know, fuck it, bro. Maybe I'm just tweaking. So then after dinner, he goes to the living room and he's sitting on the chair, and then he said he like he like felt dizzy, and he said he passed out, and his friend said. It started like there was like water coming down from the walls, and he said there was water coming up from the floors, and it was hitting the ceilings, like it was coming up from the floor, like like going up like this. Like if he, like if he was upside down or some shit. No, like he wasn't. It was just water. Like imagine there was a puddle of water in the middle of the floor. It was just the, coming up to the ceiling. Oh, well, that's freaky, bro. They called the cops, and the cops came in, and they said that they the police report said there was like a big ass puddle of water in the middle of the room and like there was water flying everywhere they said the it was like raining sideways in the house and he said they said the what's his name don was like floating like levitating like fucking like like in the air by himself by himself they didn't know what the fuck was going on bro they took him out so they took him out of the the crib and they brought him to like a restaurant so they could do more investigation and the rain came with him so they was in the restaurant same shit happened raining all over the walls on the floor going up they nobody knows what the fuck happened and then they brought him back to prison because he's only he's only doing a year sentence so they brought him back and even the warden said that in his nah, room fuck. if you go through some crazy shit and you, you still, still get to go back to prison and motherfucker still saying back to prison instead of like a psychiatric play some shit niggas and now you going bro. back to the slammer by yourself bro they tried to i think they tried to get like an exorcism like a priest but it didn't work bro he went back to prison it was doing the same thing he said the the, the cell was filled with water they don't know where it came from Yo, that's wild. That's some scary shit, bro. And he said, "Wait, that, so where the was he? He was in the cell, just floating in the water." No, he would be like laying in his bed, and like the there would be like water coming down from the walls. Like it's like like, like if there was like a leak or something. And it would, would it overflow the the? the cell? It wouldn't really overflow, but there would be like it'll be just wet everywhere. Did they try to speak with him? Like, did he say anything? They he just said he felt like he was just like in a trance, like he could hear everything, but he can't like see what's going on. So, like, and niggas think it was, like, a whole big fake, but there's eyewitnesses seeing, like, all this shit happening. So, the man was able to control water after visiting his grandpa's grave. I don't know if he was controlling it or if he was possessed and that's what was coming out of, like, the the floors and shit. Like, something, like, it, like he couldn't control it. Like, he was just, like, possessed at this point. Because, like, I don't know if you ever seen, like, the real, like, the exorcisms, like, in the movies. Like, yeah. From, like, he, it was something like that. Like, you remember? I don't know. What was that? What was that last, um... Conjuring movie that came out where they had the possession at the end of the movie everybody was scared of shit uh, with the two girls yes I the, think with the two little girls in the middle yeah do you remember that at the end of the movie they showed the exorcism and shit yeah I ain't like that movie though you didn't like <laughs> it I, like, I, ain't like that. I ain't like that ending bro that shit had me mad as fuck I just I feel like nothing could beat co- the first Conjuring as bad as it sounds yeah because I, that trying to sound like a head ass that was the best one well Loki like the first Insidious 2 the first, mm-hmm. the first in city, that shit was hit. That shit hit crazy. 
I have my whole family in the living room watching. I'm telling my whole family, everybody was watching. That's that how shit. my family was too. We was watching that. We that was watching was uh, fire, Conjuring, bro. bro. Niggas was scared of shit watching that shit. Nigga, I was bro, scared. When I as first fuck. seen a motherfucker with the red face, I'm like, nah. No, I was scared of shit, bro. I, oh, the Conjuring used to scare the hell out of me, nah, bro. But, I mean, it was levitating. He was levitating. And with the, with the he had water powers. Like, just imagine we in this room and then water just flowing down like a like a waterfall. And then the water... Well, like, what kind of test did they run? Did they, like, run his blood? I don't know. They did just they said they brain, got... Did he do brain test on my, my They man? just gave him... They just brought a priest in and tried to do an exorcism. And I guess... I think it stopped after, like, the first time it happened in jail. But... To this day, niggas don't know what the fuck what happened to him, bro. He's, he's still alive with us. Yeah, he's right? still alive, I think. Bro, you need to do fucking interviews on this motherfucker. I think he was on the news, bro. Bro, imagine the water is going sideways and vertically. Like, it's like, like, it's like, like, uh, no gravity or some shit, bro. I don't know if I, I, I was going to be like, just kill that motherfucker, bro. Nigga said just, <laughs> just end it right there, bro. <laughs> Nigga said just end it right there. It's crazy work. Bro, because if you're doing an exorcism and if you don't really get much out of it, what do you do after that? Hope and pray, bro. Just keep yeah, praying. Hope and pray. Just keep like, praying, right. bro. <laughs> Say like, I love you. Say my girl was possessed, right? <laughs> and and we did three exorcisms with her, and them shits don't work. What would you do? What would you think I should do? Just <laughs> yo, just hope and pray, bro. Yo, this nah, is if you go through three exorcisms and them shits do not work, your best bet is to off that individual. No, just 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 tell God, be like, yo, God, bro, just please, I'll do anything. He heard all your prayers from the first three exorcisms, bro. <laughs> he heard all them shits, bro. You just gonna end it, bro? Yeah, what bro. It- bro, I'm not gonna have this crazy demonic pe- presence in my crib, and I gotta run through three exorcisms to try to save you, and them shits is not working. If Obviously, there's a higher power than both of us, so we obviously do what's right and just end you, bro, and send you where you belong. I can't do that, bro. I can't. I gotta find a way. So bro. Jake is possessed. All right, five. You gonna do five exorcisms on her? On her? As if if uh, the niggas that did the conjuring at the real life niggas, I need them coming to my crib. I need oh, the Ed, best priest. Ed Lorraine. The, yes, I need the best priest in the Yo, fucking you know world, bro. You know what's funny about that movie? Um. I heard a lot of the shit that happened in the movie yeah. didn't even happen in the real life. Oh no, they added on to it. So what I what I what I watched, it was a um this thing, right? Mm-hmm. Where people were talking about what, what actually happened. Like the house looks completely different from yeah, the yeah, actual it's, movie. It's not like that. And the basement kind of looks more wicked. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, it looks like scary. in the movie, it's just one big room. Mm-hmm. In the actual house is a fucking hall, it's like a whole walkway with two, three rooms. Yeah. So what I heard was that when the when the people first initially getting the 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 weird the weird shit because I heard like this the the house is built on like uh a ancient war that happened yeah yeah like, the the like, civil war yeah like a civil war so hella motherfucking soldiers died mm-hmm. so I heard like when the family started getting all these issues all this bullshit that happened to them um that fucking they call the call upon like Ed Lorraine to come see what's going on see so mm-hmm. do exorcism on the mom and stuff like that yeah. So I heard when he ended up doing the exorcism. And I think this only happened in one, in two, one or two days. And they came over and I think they did like exorcism on the, on the mom. And she started levitating off the fucking chair and shit like that. Really? And the motherfuckers had to tackle her like, yo, control yourself. And and I guess the, the, the husband of the house thought the guy was hurting his wife. And he's like, yo, bro, get the fuck off my wife. And I heard he punched him and shit like that. Oh, really? And so Ed and Lorraine was like, all right, bro, we're not going to help you. And he dipped and left. Wow. So nobody knows what happened after that. I think it was only like a two day, and I think. So nobody fam- knows what happened to the family. And I don't think the family even let them record or finish recording. Really? I think it only was like one piece of recording, and then I think it gets like kind of disordered, at, like disorder, disoriented, like towards the end of the fucking recording. Like you hear some wicked shit. Nah, that's see that. Nah, that's crazy. See, bro. that's different from the movie because the movie you see these motherfuckers finish everything. Yeah. Not in the actual story. I heard they only came there. They did like a small investigation. The fought, the husband got upset, tried to fight the fucking um the Ed motherfucker, and yeah. the motherfucker said, "Bro, all right, bro, just deal the shit on your own. We out." So nobody knows what happened to that family. Yeah, no one knows what happened after, really. Oh my gosh, bro, that's so bad. And I heard like um, I forgot the fucking the witch, the witch in the house name. Her name was um. You talking about like the goat, like the demon? Or her name talking? is starts with a B. Oh, you talking about like like the nun shit? The actual witch. What that was in the that was in the conjuring house. Uh, like it's a real life person. It was like a demon. It was a real life person that that I think lived next to that crib. Yeah, and I heard like the story goes bad where right? like they found her in the crib sacrificing one of her kids. 
Really? Yeah. So that whole house is just fucked, bro. That whole house just had a whole bunch of fuck shit going on. Like, that's so bad, bro. Like to hear like the witch that possessed your house came in without you really knowing and sacrificed their own baby and did a ritual. Witchcraft is wild, bro. That's wild shit. Dang, bro. That witchcraft could, could do some bad things to you. Could come back to you in some haunting ways. But like, there is good witchcraft though. Yeah, it's called witchcraft for a reason, bro. What? It, what's good witchcraft? Bro? Like, there's like, it's like, um, it's like, it's basically just like practicing. It's like meditation type shit. I, I, I guess I could see like, like the sage in the shit. Yeah, it's is like that, that. Is that considered witchcraft? I mean, I feel like there's like that's like part of it in a way. It's like certain elements of. I feel like witch. There's certain witchcraft that helps you. Like you do certain things to get like good luck and good like fortune. Well, that mo- well, that lady was not doing. Yeah, no, she. There's different. There's bad witches. There are bad witches. Yeah, bro. But I don't. That's what I'm saying. It's just different. There's like this. So, this is so much weird shit with witchcraft. Like I, I talk about it all the time in podcasts. Like, I think my mom. I don't know if this is true, but my mom said one of my aunts is like did witchcraft in the woods, like in the Philippines. Like I had an aunt that does witchcraft. Supposedly, in the woods is wild. Don't know. They don't really talk to like that. But in the woods is wild. I don't know, man. I don't know. I was like, I was like. I don't know why when I thought I think about motherfuckers doing some crazy shit like the Suicide Force or some shit like I think motherfuckers did witchcraft oh, Lo- that shit hell yeah I feel like that whole force is cursed bro like the in Japan right where uh, Logan Paul did it yeah would you walk through there I would honestly I but know. I heard it gets scary because you could walk so deep and just get fucking, fucking lost, lost yeah, bro because nah. everything it's like I feel like like I, people I heard like people pull fucking ropes so they can follow mm-hmm. and then you see the rope and then it just ends right there you're like Where's this person that it's either you're gonna find a body there or no one's gonna be there. <sighs> See, like, nah. Cause I like I told you, I still wanna do more ghost adventures for this year. There's a lot more it's I got not planned. That, not that one, bro. Honestly, not that if we, one, if we could do some shit like that, I, I really would though. I ain't gonna hold you. But here's the thing I've seen people do when they go into that forest. Yeah. Motherfuckers do not bring no type of good equipment, bro. Like what? Like weapons? Like you gotta bring like four extra batteries, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You motherfuckers be having fucking CVS flashlight, bro. Nah, yeah, you need to have that that big aluminum. Yo, when we go, I'm not doing that shit. But I got, I got something, I got something planned that's a you little bigger that than big that. Big flight that fucking illuminates the whole force, bro. <laughs> but here's the thing: if you do that shit, you think you attract something? Probably. So I'm saying you can't, you can't bring too much shit because then what if you attract stuff, bro? Well, are you more scared of if it's a haunted woods or if there's something in the woods? Like I'm talking about. Mm, that's actually a good question. If it's something haunted, like or? would you rather like go through like a haunted ass woods or go through a woods something that there's possibly like a big bigfoot or like a monster in that bitch? Like that that they say there's a monster in there. Um, that's actually a really good question. I, I gotta think about that. Low key for me, I don't think I could do the. I feel like I I I'll, I'll take like the bigfoot or some shit, bro. Bro, but like that's more known. Like you you, it's more scary because I feel like you're more known that you could be stalked by something. And I know. But I and feel something like that could physically fucking touch you and shit like but that. But I feel like if we go to like the haunted wood, that shit could come b- like we could bring back something. Mm. At least if we escape, and some, shit, and some shit could really fuck with your mind in that. Yes, bro. I, I'm taking the haunted one. Nah, I can't, bro. Bro, I can't. I'm not finna go through no fucking woods knowing that there's a fucking beast in there. Nigga, you just got first of all, like as well, as long as you once you get out that wood, you good. And you gotta go in the dark, bro. We ain't doing no daylight, bro. Hell no, nigga. We uh, we doing when the when the sun is setting, bro. Sun is setting, bro. I got I got a great place. I got two good places now. I told I think I told you about one place. You gotta do it when the sun is setting, cause that's that shit's so pretty when you see the sun going down. Damn, just fucking darkness, bro. I, yo, I'm telling you, it's gonna be me, you ish, and Tyrone. Tyrone gonna be the cameraman, and then Jason. Jason's gonna be there, but uh, Jason's has a situation, so we gotta figure out Jason. Mm. If y'all want Jason back, put it in the comments right now. Uh, Hashtag Roberts. <laughs> Nigga's sick. Say hashtag Roberts in the comments and we'll let him know. We'll let him know immediately because he, he wants to be back. But there's some issues. Bro, but nah, you got to do... Um, I I got to do the haunt to him, bro. Nah, Knowing that something's bro. in there is crazy, bro. It's not that bad. Bro, it's like basically asking for something to come fuck with you, bro. It's like... It's like... Bro, if you... Going into a infest... It's like... Someone letting you... Yo, we, there's, there's like four bear attacks in these woods. And you're like, okay, I'm still go. <laughs> on, but like... Think about it, bro. I if you once you survive, it's not like you're in the dark. It's not a given that you gonna get like you gonna see it for real. If that shit's haunted, you might get bad luck. It's so much shit, bro. I'll play more cards with the haunted one, bro. I can't I go can't, in there knowing no. that something could be fucking watching us in any given moment. Just yo, there. Who dares that, bro? He's not even here no more. It may have just vanish, bro. Bro. Shit like that happened, bro. So in the movies, bro, when motherfuckers look back and a person behind them is vanished, bro, that's what's gonna happen to us, bro. 
Nah. Yo, that'd nah, be crazy. That'd be bro, fucking you wild, you can't, bro. you can't take that chance, bro. I'd rather know that there's something not there, but it's there. Just... Like, think about it. All right, let me, let me, let me paint oh, the picture. i strong, bro. That's why, bro. Let, let me paint the picture for you, right? So, all right. So, this is the haunted one. We're going in. Me, you, Ish. Me, you, Ish, Tyrone. Going in. We just, we see a dark figure. In the in the light, we're like, what take, the fuck is that? Gotta walk back, bro. And then you, nah, nah, we're, we're still, we we act like we didn't see it, right? Just see the dark figure, shine the light, what the fuck dips. We're like, okay, that's kind of weird. We start, we start hearing like like a girl scream. Ah, okay. Now, now, in now, in we're, we're already deep in the woods now. Now you said you felt somebody touch you. We're deep in the woods and it's twelve a.m. Yes. Are we gonna go to the scream? Yes Hell no. no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. the content, we must go. What? The, the <laughs> nigga's trying to kill us. For the content, we must go see was screaming, bro. If y'all want to see that video. Bro, look, bro. There was a, there was, this is a YouTuber called Sammy Kobe. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did a haunted thing in, in, in like a, a fucking, like a building or some shit. Yeah. And they came out because the fucking cops were looking for them. So they're like, yo, bro, we got to dip or we're going to trespass. As they're running away, they hear screaming in the distance. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. And then it actually turned out to be a fucking dead... Some lady Somebody got getting, murdered. Some lady got murdered, and they found like a year or two later, or some shit. Oh my god, I did see in the that. same wood in the same place. Like they they pinpointed where the boys were. Uh huh. And it was probably like maybe like another two miles from these motherfuckers in the woods, bro. That's od. Imagine that happened to us, bro. That's wild. I'd be so scared, bro. bro. I'm bringing I'm bringing a machete, bro, and I'm bringing a pocket knife. All right. Now let me paint the I'll picture. Bring a nice combat knife like this. Now look. Now let me paint the picture. There was a mot like a like a bigfoot in the woods. So we're going in the woods, right? You just hear you hear footsteps, but we we turn around we don't see nothing. You hear like a you hear like a knock on the on the on the uh, on the tree like a big ass knock. You're like damn, that's kind of weird. We keep walking. You hear a tree fall over. I'm like oh nah, what the fuck is that, <laughs> nigga? No, see, and then if you hear if we hear a roar, now we're out. Now bro, we gotta dip. Cause I heard now we gotta dip. I've read stuff about Bigfoot. That motherfucker is known for like. Like breaking trees down yes. and, and leaving it like that is like his mark, like he's marking it. Yeah, he's like marking territory. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm dipping off on y'all niggas. Nigga, what? Nigga, we, uh, first of all, we're all leaving too, but we're out. But that nah, should be bro, fucking. I'm you, the, that should I feel be like the fear, I, the fear in my leg. I'm gonna have like the flash, but <laughs> if yo, you know what me, bro? I be like in in situations See, like, that, like that. You gotta have a body. A body uh, flash Body can't. Oh, but no, bro, you have a flash, bro. If you I have, I have headlamps. I have headlamps. If you run at full speed, bro. I feel like it's going to be bullshit. And I, in our case, bro, we're going to have bullshit in front of us on the floor for no reason, bro. But that's why I got I got headlamps. What if as we're walking, this motherfucker's planting stuff behind us so we could trip? <laughs> that's evil work. That's evil Taking work. Taking a haunted, bro, bro. But, Taking a haunted, nah, one, bro. bro. But Imagine you looking at a tree and you think you see another tree next to it. It's a big ass motherfucker, bro. At that point, you'd be like, oh, shit. Now we're or, dipping. Or it could be a case where we fucking walking deep in the woods and there's a group of motherfuckers in there. A group of what? Like, like no, I'm not saying Ku Klux Klan niggas, but like on some, <laughs> on some ritual motherfuckers. Like, oh, like that these guy. motherfuckers in the hoods and looking at us like, oh, no, nah, I'm down. I'm out. And then we're running. <laughs> we see a tortoise here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Get him. And then here by, then little by little, you hear each one of us just silently go quiet, bro. <laughs> Hey, bro, for the content? <laughs> for the content, I would, bro. I'll go, I'll go off for content hey, bro. like that. I, yo, I have two. I had two places. I, I told you about the other place, but there's another place that I never, I didn't tell you guys about. So this, it's this is it's in another state, though. Pennsylvania? Nah, it's in Vermont. Damn! So let me, let me, let me t- I don't know if we're going to do it, but it's a very, so, so you know how, you know what the Bermuda Triangle is, right? Oh, you trying to set us up. Nah, look, look, think about that. I don't know if we're going to do it, though, but I... It's like it was something I heard about. So you know, about to come back seven years later. No, no, no. It's nothing like that. But like you know, so the so you know the Bermuda Triangle, how everything is. Yeah. So do you know like throughout the world, there's different triangles. Like yeah, there's like, a triangle in Alaska. Like I think there's one that's low key connected to Puerto Rico or some shit like. That. Mm-hmm. Like it's like in the middle of that shit. Yeah, like there's different areas that actually have like their so called triangles where shit people go like shit happens. So there's one in Vermont. It's called the Bennington Triangle, and it like connects like Vermont to like. I think Connecticut and like upstate New York. It's like a big triangle. There's like a forest in it. Mm-hmm. And this forest. Wait, no, it's a forest in the shape of like a. Like no, it's not in the shape of a triangle, but it's like, like, it's like, like that's the area where I think people disappeared in. I, I got to see. Let me see what forest is called. So, I don't know. It's called Bennington Forest. You know a lot of shit. You know we're going we're to be trespassing, right? No, I don't think this is trespassing. I think it's a, it's a national park. So basically, right? The whole thing behind it is, I think during 
the early 60s or 50s, seven people went missing in this forest. They don't know what happened to them. Like they just disappeared, like up and disappeared. And they said that it's supposedly because they wore red. They wore They wore red. They like were, it's like everybody that went missing either had something on them that was red or had something to do with the color red. So like like and it's like a big like urban legend saying like so if you like, go in this forest wearing red, you so go like get red socks. Something like that. I think. I so don't or, know if I, or if you got these Adidas pants with, that's the, red. with the red stripes. Yes. So it's like and I think it's like a, I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm botching it, but I know there's I, I don't know if it's a whole urban legend saying that if you go into these woods wearing red, that you might end up missing. And, like, people said they've seen UFOs. They said it's haunted. People have seen, like, Bigfoot in there. So, like, this is, like, a whole and everything and in that case, woods, bro. Ever, in the case, if we used to ever go over there, we, one of us would low-key have to wear red. <laughs> Nigga just wants the content, bro. I don't no, know. No, one of us, but then one of us got to have a fucking dog leash in that motherfucker. I'm saying, bro. Like, yo, you have the red shirt. You need the dog leash because if you go missing, bro... We ain't following you. And it was like a weird way. It's like, I think a woman got dropped off by the bus and she was walking home like by the woods and like she just disappeared. That's terrible. Like nobody knows what happened. I think somebody else was like driving through the woods, just disappeared. The the car was missing. Car was there. They left. Like it was just, they they just, and it was, but I don't know if it happened, anything happened recently. Let me see if anything happened But isn't the thing with Bermuda Bermuda Triangles, if you, like I heard like, aren't you supposed to feel like something is like unnatural about it like a, like if you're going through like a vortex or some shit yeah so- like here's the thing like with, with planes and shit like that right mm-hmm. how the fuck I feel like do planes have a navigation system specifically to avoid Bermuda Triangles I don't know I feel like they just fly I feel like they just fly <laughs> low key yeah that's low key scary bro I like I just think I don't think they really are worried about that too much for real so because- I'm pretty sure there was planes that went missing bro Hell yeah, bro. I, yo, there's been so many accounts. I heard, not even over there, I heard the worst part is like, you know the Indian Ocean? Like, you know where the Indian Ocean is, right? Like, uh, under India? Yeah. I heard that's like the worst place to fly over. Like, you, they, they don't like, they, like, I, that's that's the one ocean that people like, they uh navigate different routes around that because it's too, there's like, the waves is too rough. I guess it's like really windy over there and the turbulence is bad and people like crash going through the Indian Ocean a lot. Bro, I'm reading some stuff like some, pl- some planes... Went missing like some plane called fucking Flight Nineteen. Flight Nineteen went missing. Where over Bermuda Triangle? Yeah, but this is like in 1945. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these shit, like in like with the the Bennington Triangle in Vermont, a lot of these happened like 1945 to 1950. Five people disappeared in the area of southwestern Vermont around Bennington and Glaston Mountain. They don't know what happened to these niggas, bro. Just imagine, bro. You said Bennington Triangle, right? Bennington Triangle, bro. Yeah, bro, they I'm talk about... At, I'm looking at that shit right now. Bro, they said there's a Bennington monster in there. The fuck is that? <laughs> bro. It's, it's the gatekeeper. They said bro. a giant creature described as a large, hairy, and over six feet tall. Nigga, what if you catch that nigga? <laughs> we'll capture him on film, boy. Hey, bro. We'll see. And so they ain't gonna catch us. Nah, I don't know. So I was thinking. That's why you got a live stream, bro. I was thinking. Nah, hell no. We don't got that internet for that. Hell no. Niggas gonna fuck up. You got a live stream, bro. A niggas gonna fuck up I'm with that shit, you, bro. Stuff like this, you got a low key live stream, bro. We'll see. And you got the weird shit in the camera. Like, yo, make sure. I'm gonna let you know it's weird, bro. Let me just throw some sounds up. No, it's real. Look at this motherfucker, and then you just gonna disappear, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm telling you. But that's 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 what's the. That's what's the plan for like the the ghost adventure shit. So stay tuned for that. More ghost adventures. I know y'all love the ghost adventures. That shit's almost at like two k. It said a number of people went missing between nineteen forty five and nineteen fifty. Yep. This is it's crazy work, bro. So we might if y'all want us to let us know if y'all want more of the ghost content. We're gonna give it to y'all though. It's next to a mountain, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it's, just, it's done up. It's bro. either that or like we go to the Pine Barrens and find the Jersey Devil. You remember? You gonna touch a tree? Hell no, I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> hell no, nigga. Fuck, I, I will not. Hell, hell. I heard ooh. people literally killed themselves after that. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Freaking, oh my gosh. Speaking, that that's being killed stuff. But I, I have a, I have a game that we're not gonna play. But it's a Japan, a cursed Japanese fortune game. Nah, you got me lost. You losing me right now. I know them Japanese games are low key wicked. I was Jap- saying about that one Japanese story where with what with the it was like a, a fucking song. 
a fucking little girl saying that shit and then she just fucking teleported to hell. Some shit like that, bro. You think you told me, but yeah, you did tell me about that. There's always some Japanese people that got some wicked shit, bro. bro. The, I told, I've been telling, I was telling Corey and Fritz, bro, like Japanese people got the weirdest shit, bro. But I think it originated in like Europe, though, and it made its way to Japan. So the whole game is called Sujiora. Have you heard of that? Sujiora. Sujiora. Like, yeah, you ever heard of that? No. So basically, right? So this game, it's basically when you play this game, you're supposed to get your fortune, like your future of what's going to happen to you in the future. Right, so this how so basically how you play the game is, is that in the middle of the night you go to like a uh, two street like a cross section of a street you go in the middle, and you get a comb, and like you know the bristles of a comb you go like this and make the noise, mm-hmm. so you go like that and then you sing three times like Suji Aura, grant me your fortune or something like that, give me good fortune or uh, tell me my fortune something like that, and then you, a stranger is supposed to come up to you, but if the stranger comes up to you, you have to you can't see him. Because if you if you uh, see what he looks like, you you get bad luck for the rest of your life. So you gotta just you have to like cover your face, and like, he's gonna he's gonna walk up to you, and then you ask him like, "What is my fortune?" And then if he doesn't give you your fortune, you have to wait till the next stranger comes up and be like, "Do you want to hear your fortune?" The next stranger, like you have to wait till somebody actually tells you your fortune. Yo, why does it sound like that fucking movie? Uh, what? Um, talk to me. It, I I think it's similar to that. Where you fucking grab a hand and you talk to a fucking a. Like a spiritual person mm-hmm. that's in front of you, like yeah. a random person, bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's how. That's what talk to me was about. Yeah, I think like she held her hand, like the like the fake hand, me. right? You talk, you should be like you talk to me, then hella weird shit happened, and mm-hmm. you see a random person in front of you, mm-hmm. and I guess you. Oh, you just talk to him, but you can't. But I heard like in the movie, you can't be like let you can't be like let me in. Oh, okay, okay. Then you'd be transported to like that's why I was in the movie. That bitch said that shit. She was. In the hand, she was part of the hand ritual. Now. Oh no, oh no! So, so like with the game, so now you have to wait till somebody actually gives you your fortune. So somebody's supposed to give you your fortune, and a lot of people like this is a very popular game in Japan. But a lot of people start killing themselves afterwards because of what their fortunes were. What the fuck? Because like niggas would think like they're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna die of cancer in five years, or they'd be giving some crazy ass fortune. So they were like, you know what? If I'm gonna die like this anyways, might as well. So they got depressed. But then, right? There was a group of kids that did it, but because they didn't think it was real, so they they did it, and I think they they were I don't know if they recorded it or not, but I know they went to the cross section and they had one of they they friends do it, and he was like singing a song, well, doing the thing. You can't record it, basically. I don't know if they did. I don't think they did. I think it was before like cameras, but I can't remember. So they he went into the middle and he did like he sung the song. He said like give me let me hear my fortune, and he closed his eyes and a a, a couple, um. Strangers went up to him, but I guess they just ignored him. But then, crazy, maybe, man. I don't know about a couple, maybe like one. But then this one guy in a black hoodie came up to him. He was like, what did he say? He said, "Um, he said I will give you your true, your true fortune. Now die. And he had a machete and a knife in his hand. And he threw it at the kid. And it almost hit him in the head. And they ran. Like the nigga almost got murdered. Wait, the nigga said, I'll show you your true fortune. Now die. And like, like this is your fortune. He threw that shit at the nigga head, bro. Oh nah, bro! And almost killed the nigga. Like did this he, close. Did he see him? No, he didn't see him. Why? But he just see like he it just like whooshed past his head. Nah, bro. And they just dipped after that, bro. Nah, I, bro. I see. That's when I heard that. Nah, that's just crazy work. Yeah. That's why I never do Wait, shit so like almost that. So some of these these strangers are like or like spiritual people, though, right? They say they say the whole legend behind it is that. The, with the whole game is that like spirits will take the form of people to give you your fortune and in some cases people think like the devil there's instructions for this game it's online I ain't doing that shit I don't know what's it called don't do that bro I'm, I'm not I'm interested what is nah, it called I ain't done. you actually do that Wait, shit no, what's it called bro? bro you better watch the film you better watch the film bro, bro I ain't about to I just want to watch some YouTube videos on it bro uh, it's called fortune game fortune game yeah fortune game so they said supposedly like the little like spirits walk they say spirits walk around like the like the streets at nighttime and like when you do the game like they take a body like human form of like a person and they'll oh, give you your shit, fortune. I see it right here. Yeah. Fortune game is an ancient Japanese fortune telling ritual years ago in Japan. It is extremely popular and was called Tsuji Ora. Suji Ora. Suji Ora. Yep. Shit's crazy work, bro. And it was called Crossroads in uh, Europe, D- divination. That's what I think. That's what they call it in like Europe or some shit. In, like England. you need a comb, 
and something to cover your face. Yep, like a it book. It can be played alone or friends. Caution. We advise you to not play this game. Years ago, some Japanese people would commit suicide after playing. Yeah, bro. Because they did not like the prediction of the fortune. Crazy shit, bro. What? You got to get cards. I don't know. That might be the extra you shit. You take comb and go... Or you take a comb, you go to... Well, I guess like a fucking hair comb. Yeah, like a regular hair comb and just go like that. Go to the crossroads in the evening after dark. Mm-hmm. It would be after dark. Yep. And oh, just... Nah. Sound comb three times by drawing your fingers along the teeth of the comb. Chant the following... Chant the following three times. You got to say the name of the game. I'm not done. Sujiora? Yeah. Ask a stranger to tell your fortune... Well, nah, bro. Tell you, bro. It's just crazy work. Getting not me, man. <laughs> not me. I don't know. I don't like oh, that nah. shit. I was like fucking on some Ouija board shit, bro. Low key. Low key, bro. You know anybody that did that shit? Our parents said they did that shit. I think Jason did it. He did it? I think Jason Wicked, did it. bro. I don't know. I can't do that, bro. Me you know neither. Ouija board, bro. I'm not in your house. I feel like well, your house is fucking haunted, bro. Hey, bro. Your house be scaring the hell out of me, bro. My house be having a wickedness, bro. Especially that one room in the back you got. That one that looks like... You know what it is, me, bro? Every time I walk in the middle of the night, I'm scared of when it's pitch black in the in the dining room and in my living room. Mm-hmm. Because I be thinking, like, some, something's just... Standing there? Is it weird that, like... Is it weird to just get the feeling that someone's watching you? Does that mean someone's watching you or are you just getting a good feeling? Um, It could be either or. Low key. That's, that's what I fucking hate, bro. It could be either or. What it could be. Nah, I need to know. Is this someone watching me? Like you ever get you ever get chills? Yeah, like yeah, bro, I like, do too. I, bro, I don't know, bro. I feel like when you when you're in between two dark ass rooms, mm-hmm. yo, I just just wicked, bro. It's just like, and I had a fear growing up of, of a fucking being in the dark, bro. Me too, nigga. I still I'm am. not saying it's amplified now, bro. But you feel me? I just be more cautious. I just try to ignore the fuck out of that shit, bro. Bro, I be thinking I see shit out of the corner of my eye, and I look real quick and be like, oh, that's that's crazy. Bro, I tell you, I laugh. I laugh and I'm like, damn, I really have to fight a ghost right now. Like, I'm <laughs> like, yeah, this, <laughs> this nigga ain't ready, bro. bro. I'm telling you, I'm always ready. Like, I, you know, I be thinking, like, I, like sometimes I take a shower at like three in the three in the morning, and I be like, I walk out, like, you know, my hallway. So I walk in the bathroom, and like the lights be, I just picture somebody be right there. I'm like, oh, all right, now it's, Wait, it's over. So is is this your second house you ever lived in? Yeah, second house. Second house. The first house it was in, the, it was like apartment Jersey. Was that house ever felt a little off? Nah, I don't. Not that I know of. My second crib that I lived in while I was in Newark. Yeah. That shit was type wicked, bro. Really? Being in the fucking basement was wicked as fuck. And then it was like a fucking it was like when you go upstairs to my room to my to my 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 uh, my fucking my apartment, mm-hmm. there's like a fucking wooden like just a wooden plank, like a big ass wooden plank blocking like a hole into like a whole nother room. Really? No one goes in there because there'd be bats in there. My nigga, I will always get the feeling that someone was in there, bro. Nah, wait. First of all, why the fuck you don't get the bats out that shit? Bro, fuck that shit. I ain't going to do nothing about that shit, bro. Hey, bro, I don't know. I, I had a, I had like a little bat infestation low-key. I never dealt with that shit in my life, but it was like probably like... I ain't gonna say it was like old like a fucking bat cave in there, bro. <laughs> but like that's two, what you think. Nah, I know, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, I was thinking like five. Nah, like five. It was like yeah, two. like five of them, bro. Like, bro, like we took that shit off, bro. And I promise you, when I was young, bro, I can recall, like, I heard, like, a little pss in that shit, bro. No. When I was, I was, it was me and my cousin just looking at shit, and I heard, like, pss, I was like, this little motherfucker. I was like, nah, bro. Yeah, nah. Bore this shit back up, bro. Cool. Cool Bore off that, bro. Bore this shit back up, Cool bro. off that, bro. And then, and then I think I, I think I said on the podcast before, where when I was young, bro, mm-hmm. in my room in in, uh, in Irvington, and I looked, I looked straight ahead, my door was open. I saw like a motherfucker in a hospital gown walk down my stairs, bro. You did tell me that. Swear to God, that shit, that shit. Now that's that crazy. Shit's implemented in my brain, like I had the photo in my brain. That motherfucker just looking down and just walking and slowly, walk downstairs. Did you tell your parents? How old were you? I don't think I told them. Uh, I was probably like eight, nine. Nah, that's od. Because you know, you know, I feel like ghosts. Like I feel like kids see ghosts more than anything. Yeah, which is crazy, bro. Like, so, like, especially I think like babies too. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's because of their innocence that motherfuckers they 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 they, they make themselves be known to them so they can fucking see and shit. Mm-hmm. Them and dogs and like animals. Like, I think it's because I feel like they do that shit with animals because 
They, they, can't, they can't do much. Yeah, they can't. A baby, he can't do much. Mm-hmm. If it's a human, yeah, we, 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 we can get you out of here. We, we play the game if we want. Like, or not. okay, so are you? would you be more scared if you see something, constantly see something, or you constantly hear shit? Like, what would be more scary if you if you had, like, a haunting in your crib? Like, if you constantly see somebody walking around, or if you constantly hear something, like... That's like, like some schizophrenic shit, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I think I'd rather fucking... I'd rather see, see it, bro. Shit, bro. I, as I long as it's like not if, super scary. I feel like if I'm hearing shit, that shit gonna have me go fucking nuts, bro. Yeah, like imagine you just hear like footsteps. Yeah, bro. I, I feel like I'd rather know if something is not really there, but I could see it. Like, there's a fucking lady standing here. I'll be like, try to ignore that shit. Mm-hmm. But if I'm hearing shit in your closet, just scratch it, like I'm, banging fucking, and some I'm shit. gonna lose my mind, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, nah. Like, I always hear, like, they say, like, if you ever hear, like, like your parents, like, Yelling out for your name and they're not in the crib. That Yo, shit's gonna be scary. It's, it's, it's over, bro. I, I think I seen that shit give me goosebumps. I think I seen some stories like that, bro, where motherfuckers saying they fucking like in the basement. They hear like Tommy, come yeah. here, and the motherfucker was not home. Motherfucker upstairs or, or the motherfucker upstairs sleeping in the room. Yeah, like, bro. Like imagine, like, like imagine, like I, I think like, it's called like Wendigos and some shit like that. Motherfuckers. Oh, like the little like skinwalker like, shits, shit like that. Like, they can fucking mimic yourself into to like speaking? something you know. I feel like I feel like there was one time like I heard I thought I heard my mom say my name, like I was like she's like Darius. I was like I was like mom you said something. She's like no I ain't say nothing. I, I feel was like, like I had stuff like that too, but I just easy. I'm like bro, ma. All right, bro, fuck you. <laughs> or I'm hearing I'm like I'm just I like I'm I just I like I ain't. I'll, I'll lose it if it's like like. Two o'clock in the morning, I hear it. It's nah, over. I feel like I'd rather I'd rather fucking see shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what mm-hmm. I I'd rather just see it. I'd rather fucking lose my hearing than than fucking than my eyesight, bro. Basically, uh-huh. bro. I'd rather, I can't, I'd rather I just can't, see can, bro. the most crazy shit than fucking not see anything and fucking hear the wildest shit, bro. Like you said, just hearing someone run up the stairs right now. I'll lose it. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking lose I'm it. Jumping bro. out that window, bro. <laughs> you know, your own, bro. I can't do that shit, bro. Um, wait, so wait, hold up. So you said Jason did the Ouija board. I think so. Would you ever do that? I feel like, I feel like Jay will be up for it. Nah, Jay, I don't know. Jay, Jay not doing Jay that, bro. Some good, some good convincing and she'll do it, bro. Nah, bro. Jay won with the Lord, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Jay, Jay, my, my spiritual healer. Bro, but like, I, I feel like I low key would be a little interested. All I heard, you just got to make sure you fucking exit the game. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Correctly. I will forget. I feel like you got to I feel like I will like, forget, and I'm, now I'm cursed. What do you, what do you nah. got to do to end the Ouija board? I feel like you got to be like... Um, I need a specific game. Like, I need you to tell me what I got to do specifically. Because if I mess this up, and now I, I unleash something, oh my God, I'm done. I think you got to say goodbye. That's it? If you don't say like goodbye... I got to spell out goodbye? No, I think you have to say it. And then... <sighs> I can't. Uh, there's too much. There's too much not knowing, bro. I don't. I need. I need like. I need like the actual game instructions, bro. Nah, bro. I, well, I feel like the game. The game board probably does give you instructions. I don't know, man. Uh, Joe, you can move the, the mic over. You probably got to get like an authentic one from like fucking Mexico or some shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Mexico this summer too. I might go pick up one. It's like, nah. You gotta <laughs> go to Mexico, bro. But me, you uh, going to like a resort? Yeah, we're going to. Uh, uh, why you not going to them? Uh, no, I don't know. Like little Tijuana, or whatever. Seen, hey, Mexico would be going crazy, bro. No, they ain't catching my ass, you bro. You heard about the cartel, bro? Hell yeah, I ain't. So what they did in uh, Ecuador? Mm-hmm. They, they fucking... It was violating... Yo, I've never seen... This is explicit. I've never seen prison cops getting hung. Yo, it's wild. In prison. Get their head cut off, getting shot. Like, that's why. How you let... Bro, they let the niggas ransack I heard, the, I heard the, 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 the military came in and, and fucked them niggas up, though. But, like... Still. To have that shit begin like that is crazy, bro. Wasn't, like, their gang leader escaped? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That, that usually be like the main thing. Like, see, there's someone got captured, and like, bro, we gotta just start war. That's why you get like, that's why you know how much power a nigga gotta have, bro. Twenty dollars from the Ouija board, bro. Nah, cool, <laughs> cool off that niggas. niggas you, gotta go off, you gotta get one off eBay. Nah, hell someone no. Someone that's used. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> nigga, that shit come with something. That's why it's on eBay. You gotta get a used one. Fuck out of here, niggas in the comments gonna say, "Yo, oh, do the Ouija board on stream." Fuck out of here. Yo, nigga. that would be crazy. That would be good. That's good content. But all right, bro, give I'm scared. Two hundred likes and we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is sick, yo. That could happen because there's yo, there, yo hundreds of niggas watches a week. Y'all niggas is weird if y'all get to two hundred. Two hundred for the Ouija, we got you. Niggas is fucking weirdos, but hey, man, I'll be the host. Niggas is crazy. I'll be hosting it. Bro. I'm gonna be in the background like this on the think, camera. I, 
Who do you do you do you ask to talk to a specific of someone or just someone randomly comes up? I just I think you just have to see who's there, like who's in this crib. Cause I told you, I think there's I think there's something in this crib. I don't know, but I think he's nice. He's cool. He just he just like takes shit he's and like just stinking. He's nice, bro. <laughs> yeah, wait, what's the last time you've been up there? Uh, like recently. Oh, you did? Yeah. It's like it's uh they they usually when we have uh we put like the little uh, panels on the roof like they had to go up there to make sure. Did I tell you my dad fell through the ceiling one time? No way. Like, but like he didn't fall through, but like his legs was dangling, like from the from the Damn. ceiling. Cause like, bro, this dumb. He was freaking on the beams, like you know, there's like beams, cause there's no, there's not yeah. floor. So and he slipped. And he went, some of the actual floor is like probably like, it's like so- yeah, it's like soft shit. And like he slipped through, and then <laughs> it was fun. It was in my sister's room, so you can see his legs dang like the fucking Home Alone on shit. Some, on yeah, like, like so- <laughs> on some Santa Claus shit. Got yeah, stuck. bro, that, that shit was bad, funny. Damn, I can't have an attic no more, bro. Why? I remember I had one, bro. I'd be thinking something. St- just walking up there, bro. I remember, like, you talking about the one in your crib? I think I'm an ochre. I had a fucking random dead bird up there. That's the most wickedest shit I've ever found up there, bro. Uh, de- yeah, dead bird, wild. Dead birds are known for for some satanic shit. It's always on like some, bad luck, right? On some bad luck. You see a random dead bird, bro, at, in a weird place. Like that's you're not expecting it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, no, I'm cool. Like in bro. a place that has no windows, none of that shit, and there's a dead bird. Someone had to bring that motherfucker in there, a ritual, and dissect him. That's a weird, see. That's why. I don't know why people really do shit like that. Like, what do they be, like? What do they gain from that? I just feel like, cause I feel like for certain for ritual, I, I don't know why animal certain animals is like a a ritual. They're like they're like better for sacri- sacrifice, like goats, bro. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. Like, I ain't gonna hold your chicken in my. I feel like in Spanish, in, in my family, chickens like my 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 uh my aunt's grandmother. Yeah. Um. She did like some Spanish ritual, but like it's like a blessing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker will cut off a fucking chicken's chicken head, head, bro. Yeah, I mean, certain animals I feel like it's different rituals, but it's still like kind of weird, bro. Like, there's the whole fact of. Nah, go. I feel like a goat. If I see you sacrifice doing some shit with a goat, I automatically think you want some weird shit. You could be like, no, 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 I'm doing good witchcraft. Nah, bro, you're doing something crazy. I'm cool off that, bro. I'm cool. A goat off that, is bro. known for. Oh, evil. Look in the Bible, bro. I just know the goat got hella bad labels, low key, bro. Goats. I think owls is bad. Really? I think so. I thought owls were good, bro. I think Harry Potter, bro. No, I actually, all, I think I think good. owls is just like they try to think of it as like like the Illuminati people. Like, mm. like that's why they say Drake is Illuminati because of his fucking OVO owl. I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's just the court of, the court of owls, basically. Yo, I'm at, yo, I, <laughs> yo, I heard there was like a whole, bro. There's a there's a whole thing that was going around on TikTok about like a secret 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 society that stole gold during the uh the Civil War of America and they hid it somewhere in Pennsylvania. Somebody found it or somebody's on the verge of finding it. Of gold? Like it was like yeah, it was like a gold. It's like it's a it's like riches or some shit. That's some treasure, some shit, right? Yeah, it's like a treasure. So like basically what happened was so this guy he was in the CIA, former CIA, and he said that somebody was like a gold hunter or whatever. And he went to PA to like find some gold. I forgot where it was. I think it was like East Stroudsburg, something somewhere in the woods. And he found something like a clue of there's like gold, like a treasure around this area. And he told like the FBI or whatever because I guess they was looking for this. So I guess back then during the, well, I told the FBI, bro. I don't fucking know. But I guess so. Basically, right back in the Civil War times, you know, during like the when the South was fighting the North, there was a secret society that was created that was trying to. Like stir up the pot between shit, cause you know they're trying to like f- have like build up the conflict. So there was, I think, so that when they pop up, they just be like, they're like basically like bandits because they want to. They're basically trying to see the 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 freaking the country fold so well, they can rise so up. That's what I'm saying. So when when motherfuckers get into like a big ass battle and mm-hmm. everybody is losing hell of stuff, yeah, and then these motherfuckers rise up, be like, yeah, now we about to take over. Exactly. But what these niggas did was so there was a there was a convoy like a little thing of like of gold and money that was going to Philadelphia from the south mm-hmm. to like because you know Philadelphia that was like one of the capitals and shit that's where where most of like the uh, political leaders were so they ended up uh, robbing the the caravan whatever and they took all the gold and they hid it in the in the woods in Pennsylvania and recently I don't know if this is all true but recently some guy found it. And I guess the CIA or FBI is trying to keep it hidden because it's going to mess up like the, the, the cur- history? not the history, but like, cause you know, you can't have too much. It's going to mess up like, what's that? The currency or whatever. Because like the, if you have too much of something, it loses value or whatever. That's why uh-huh. if we, if we find, if somebody finds like a, 
like a, a shit ton of gold, it's going to mess up like the US like currency because now you have to like, it's like the the more money you have, the less of value it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm assuming it will have to be, the reason why they're saying it's going to fuck up the current currency is because you got to have a bunch of this shit though, right? Uh-huh, yeah, you got to have, I you think. You have I like don't, fucking two pieces of gold. You got to nah, have like it's, fucking they say it's a hundred thousand of hundred thousand dollars. They said it's gold. a lot, bro. Like I mean, a lot. Supposedly, I think I gotta. Re- I, I I think I'm botching the story. Cause I Low think there's key, a whole I guess more it about it. Was good. He kind of went to FBI. Exactly. Cause like, what the fuck you gonna do? All the, you gonna go to the pawn shop, but y'all want to cash this shit? Exactly. They because they gonna look at you like, like, where the hell you get this from, bro? Let me gonna call some people up. Exactly. Damn, motherfucker, about to blick you. Same, bro. But I think there was more to the story. Was, there was a whole video about it. Was, it. Like their, their whole their whole fucking mascot was like a fucking owl or some shit. I don't know if it was an owl. It was, it was like it wasn't like no Illuminati secret society. It was like a small one. Mm. But I'm just saying these secret society shits, bro. It's just a lot of weird shit, bro. Hey, bro. I've been hearing a bunch of weird shit about how this like little secret stuff. Like I know you heard about that whole Epstein shit getting ran through nowadays. Oh yeah, bro. I was uh, we was talking about that on the pod the other day about. See, my thing with the Epstein list, every time it, they say it's coming out, something happens. Like, um, I heard some shit recently drop the fucking Hillary, Hillary Clinton fucking family. Oh, yeah, no. I, I can't talk about that shit. That shit's wild. That shit's nasty as fuck, well, but that's some nasty people, though. Yeah, I can't. you can't talk about that shit. Oh, you can move over real quick or move the mic over. That shit was nasty. I ain't gonna hold you. I was trying to, I was trying to see... Where the files were of, of that whole fucking shit was, bro. It's like it, it's, it's hard as fuck to find shit like that. I feel like that's your best said, bet. You got you. You don't got Twitter, bro. I'm telling you, your best bet. No, I got shit. Twitter. You gotta look on this shit on Twitter. Twitter be having these links for all the random and shit, bro. Twitter. My Twitter is filled with like, like executions. It's so bad, and like and like homicides. Bro, I fucking hate Twitter nowadays, bro. It's it, all why? these fucking, bro. I be. All these these these, these tough ass pages that I don't know where these motherfuckers post only fan girls. That shit be getting me fucking vexed, bro. <laughs> that shit's annoying, bro. I swear to God, I be I be getting so mad for that shit, bro. Twitter is just a little if you too on my explicit. Twitter, you'll see a bunch of muted and blocked accounts, and it will just never stop, bro. Twitter is a little too explicit nowadays, bro. But yo. you know what I heard is explicit fucking Twitch. Oh my God, yo, Twitch is not for gaming no more. <laughs> just, they I was just talking crazy. about this with UJ. Yo, Twitch is not for gaming bro, no like, more. Bro, like what was it? Um. And I they, hate they, it. They had the, the girls were having the, the black bar block off the yes, fucking bro. private areas. And then they had a nigga do it, a fat nigga, and they got mad at him. as soon as the guy did it, Twitch was like, ah, bro, we're going to ban this stuff now, bro. That's wild. Bro, then I think the girls are trying to find another way to go a around loophole. that shit. That's sick, bro, because there's little kids watching this shit. You weird as fuck. Yeah, I really think they don't care, bro. It's just... That's weird as fuck, bro. That's just, what I'm saying. just e- easy cash to grab, bro. People is weird as hell. But, ooh, I got another story to tell you about that. I think I, I've seen on Twitter or TikTok or whatever... So, do you you know you remember when we went to the moon like that uh that Challenger space mission that exploded? Yeah. That exploded on live TV in like the 80s and I think like seven people died. One of them was a teacher. Yeah. So what if I tell you supposedly that shit was a whole big stunt and nobody died? Right? So let me let me tell you this shit. This shit it's very Excuse me. it's very weird, right? So basically the whole the whole time Okay, so if y'all don't know about it, like the whole Challenger space mission was like in the 80s when they sent up seven crew members to go up to the space to go to the moon or whatever, and it exploded. 73 seconds and it exploded. But people started doing their research a in whole, on it. Wait, I just realized 73 seconds, not even a whole 90 seconds. No, bro. Not even a minute 30 exploded. But people are thinking because I guess before it launched, there's already issues with it and they still did it anyway. So people think that like I think that this is like a, a, the same situation like, with the with the uh, submarine. This is a similar situation uh, like that. I see what you're saying. So they knew some bullshit was wrong, and they still did it anyways. Like, Yo, bro, we still gonna try it out. Mm-hmm. So now, right? So people start doing their research, and they started finding people people that their names were very similar, or they were the same names, and their ages added up to like if they were on that mission, how old they would be now. It added up. So let me read it to you, bro. Oh, they found. They're trying to say they found some of the people. They, bro, they found three professors and a CEO of the company that their ages matched up with the crew members and their names at matched up. But like, my thing would be like, if you if you doing a whole hoax of that, like, what would be the purpose of even going about showing a whole fucking spaceship explode and then be like, yeah, all these people die and then later on, motherfuckers like, yo, these motherfuckers still alive though. Think about it, bro. Or or is he? The, you know what it probably was. What do you think? I feel like what you I feel like um, what you said when they said they found out that the shit had a couple issues. They were like, "Bro, we still gonna do what mm-hmm. happened." What if they evacuated them real quickly? 
before <sighs> this shit took off. I don't know though because I feel like they would just stop it. But I just think, but think about well, it. I'm saying, what they did as a test to see if this shit would go up by itself. But you know how much bread that is. You know how much jet fuel is, bro. That's just bread. Yeah, They're not gonna waste you know, that money. You know, motherfuckers gonna just take out tax. But I'm thinking like this, right? So think of it, a magician. You know what's a magician's biggest like trick is deception. They don't really have magic. It's just making you look this way while I'm doing some weird shit over here. So I'm saying. I so like- what if there's all a diversion, my nigga? Just like how the the fucking submarine submarine was, it was low key like a diversion for some other shit that was going on. They was trying to take our attention away from the big shit that this was happening. This right. You had an unoccupied spaceship to mm-hmm. make it seem like there was people on it, and then you had the real people just get out of that shit. Yeah. Or you had fucking actual people on that shit, but they wasn't the real people. They were just fucking other people, like fucking test subjects of real people, like <sighs> some homeless motherfuckers, some shit. That'd be evil. That'd be evil, and he probably used them motherfuckers That'd be evil. to see. What was gonna happen? That's um, OD. I can see that. I could. I could dead ass like, see the the government doing shit like where they fucking use as bad as sound like homes people or some shit as like test subjects. Like that shit. Think that thing that shit you told me before where no motherfucker had. They took his grandma's corpse to mm-hmm. use it as a fucking bo- a bomb. Yeah, a bomb test. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they make you think you gonna they gonna use it for something else. Like exactly. Come on, bro. It's it's a weird thing, bro. But like the people that they found. So look, this. Let me read it to you. So they so the pilot of the whole ship, his name was Michael J. Smith, and there was a professor in the at the University of Washington that had the same name, Michael J. Smith, and had the same age that added up, and they looked similar. And then there was another person that her name on board, her name was Krista Mc, McAuffley, and they found another, and I guess I think her middle name was Sharon, and they found a professor at Syracuse, her name was Sharon McLaughley. Just for. Switch. It's like she switched, but like when when she was an astronaut, she used her middle her middle name, but her real name was Sharon. And what's her middle? Oh, so but like the person that they found, her name is Sharon, because they switched her name back. Supposedly, she's she, she just not using her middle name. Basically, she's not using her middle name because that's what she that's what she was using as like her main name. That supposedly, supposedly this person is her, and they switched their name back. And then the other two, his name was Francis Richard Scobie, and he's a CEO of like a big company. But the CEO of the company, or the Francis Richard Scobie, was one of the, I think it was like the main captain. But there was a CEO, his name was Richard Scobie. Like a he C- goes I, as Richard but Scobie. Like a CEO of what? It's like a, a chair business or whatever, like mm-hmm. a, like a, like a desks and stuff. Oh. But his name is Richard <laughs> Scobie. And then, the, no, the weirdest one is that there's two guys, there, there was two um people, two astronauts that was on the, the mission that supposedly died. It was a it was an Asian guy and a black guy, and they said supposedly they had identical twins, like they had identical twin like siblings, like brothers that nobody knew about until after it exploded. So people think that they're just saying that they're his identical twin, but that's really that person that supposedly died in there. I don't know why they would do that. Wait, so so say like I okay, but he had a, he has a twin, it's two two twin brothers. He right? doesn't. It's they think. He, like say they're say, saying he has so after that shit happened now they're saying oh he has a twin brother yeah now. and that's that's who he is but was it ever nobody there knew ever, about him before then was there ever real records of him having a twin brother prior Not suppose, before this explosion supposedly no they didn't know that but like what are the odds two twins two identical twins are on the are two astronauts on the same flight no that doesn't happen that doesn't have like identical doesn't happen that's why that's a weird what coincidence are the odds of, what are the odds of both of these twins becoming fucking astronauts, astronauts. what are the fucking odds the, and they're identical if it's fraternal I, you know that's a coincidence I'm look this up bro it's wild wait bro. what's his name it's uh the name the show be mo- the show the, the, the twin guy what's the twin guy's name oh what's his name I don't know what his name was hold on I didn't write their names down hold on look up look up the challenger hoax or whatever the Challenger Space Hoax. I think it will pop up. Seven Myths. I forgot where. Is this it? Oh, look. This shit was on NBC, my nigga. On January 28, 1986, Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into oh. flight. Can we go seven members? What's the nigga's name? No, I don't want to join now. Fuck you. The deaths were Rick. Richard Scobie, yep. Michael J. Smith, mm-hmm. Ronald Mc, M- McNear, mm-hmm. Ellen, I can't spell, bro. <laughs> Ellen S. Oz, I can't even say this motherfucker's name, bro. Judith Resnick, Gregory Jarvis, 
Krista Muck. I don't know how to say your name, bro. Let me it's see. Over. Let me. Nigga was was fumbling <laughs> the shits. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry. Why can't people have regular names, bro? Sam, bro. I just feel like, you know, you there was no there's no cameras that was on that ship to show them actually dying or. They won't post that on the internet, but you can also fake a lot of shit, bro. That's why I'm basically just getting that here. I, I feel like no, if that shit, if that shit was to happen, God forbid. Yeah, it would be video of that shit, which is kind of sick. Exactly. Like, do you like, like, imagine, bro? You think them freaking like the submarine people? Imagine they were there was nobody down there. Imagine there was nothing down there. Bro, them submarine people were crazy for that. They was controlling that shit with a fucking. Fucking a controller, my controller, nigga. Bro. Wilding out a here. logistic controller, like, come on, bro. He's got me fucked up. Hell no. But oh, I got a question. It's to funny you talking about shit being controlled what? by controller because I know I think Sony just released that they got a fucking Sony. They got a new car. They're gonna release. That's gonna like uh, Ophelia that can be fucking controlled by a fucking PlayStation Five controller. What? Sony can tri- <laughs> can um uh, created a, a car called Ophelia, I believe, mm-hmm. and that it can be controlled by a fucking PS Five controller. What the fuck, really? Yeah, that's not safe. It's not safe. What the hell? But hey, I look, he got my trust in the play, in the in that dual sense controller. This nigga is just gonna have a time of his life and just start driving. Bro, you could play shit. you could play a PS Five in the game in in the in inside the car, but being controlled by a P Five controller is crazy. That's wild, my nigga. What the fuck? What does shit like that get normalized, bro? Hey, you see it now, bro. I ain't trusting no Xbox controller. Hell. Fucking battery going to die. Niggas is sick, bro. I we'll have to recharge the, have to get some battery replacement. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Hey, man. But, all right, bro. I got a game we could play. One of the guys wanted me to ask you this question to see if you can get it right. All right? So. Let's go, bro. It's called, can you name the five countries with the largest meat sizes in the world? Meat sizes. Like penis sizes. Meat sizes like is me- bogus, bro. Penis sizes. I didn't want to say the word. Can you name the top five <laughs> countries in the world? I didn't want to add somebody. Pause, 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 pause and pausing it, pausing it. Pausing bro. this crazy. Five countries? The top five countries. I don't know if you're going to get this shit. Countries or continents? Countries. <laughs> a lot of them are on one continent. I mean. <clears throat> what are you going to say? Oh, this sounds so gay. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Uh, <clears throat> wait, I got to name a country. I can't just say a continent. Nah, you gotta I was name gonna it. be like, uh, I guess Africa. Nah, you gotta <laughs> name a country. Uh, <laughs> country in Africa. Uh, what's the country? Nigeria. Wait. No, Nigeria is number six. Yo, at what six point sixty nine inches erect. <laughs> so you, said, you said what? Six point sixty nine inches erect. So that's the that's, that's the, the average. That's the average going up. So, Nigeria is number six. Nigeria. I'll give you a. I'll give you a hint. Four of them are in Africa. One is in South America. Four is in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Four is in Africa. And one's in South America. Um, if I had to say South America, we was just talking about it. I don't want to say Brazil because that's just too head ass. I guess. Nope, not Brazil. I'm gonna say like fucking. Uh, we was just talking about this country too. Argentina. Nope. Chile? Nope. We was just talking about it. Ecuador? Yep. No fucking way, bro. Ecuador is number three. Pause it, but I can't. I can't honestly believe that they're like. <laughs> I just. I just, wanna, I just six point nine. Six point nine three inches. Yo, Ecuador. <laughs> yes. What, 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 what number are they at? Number three. Number three. Yeah. What the fuck? One of. Uh, one of them is where a lot of the NBA players come from. Starts with a C in Africa. Congo? Yep. There's D, <laughs> DR Congo and then the Republic of Congo. It's two different things. South- DR Congo, Co- Congo. Congo is seven. Is number two. And the Republic of Congo, NBA, is, how Congo many, is four. How many NBA players come from Congo? I think like MB was from the Congo. Oh, Sergi Baca. Sergi Baca is from Congo. Bruh. All right. So now you're missing South one in five. No, nah, not South Africa. One uh, of them is like a country that's at war. They're known for like their pirates and stuff. No way. What? Is it I- what? Iran? No, not Iran. 
It starts with an S. You said a country known for war. No, so. no, a country <laughs> in Africa known for like war and stuff. They're at war. It starts with an S. Very crazy country. Siberia? No. Is that in Russia? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's like S U. I can't I can't think, bro. All right. Another one is it's it's something prop it, it's a popular African country you should know. It starts with a G. I'll suck, bro. You, a lot uh, of some of our friends is from there. It's, if it's not Nigeria, it's this one. They always fight about it. Only, only known place I know from Africa is either from my boys is Nigeria and uh, it's Liberia, right? Liberia, that's, yeah. That's where UJ from? Yeah. And you ain't on the list, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's Lebanon. Damn, Venezuela is up here. Venezuela? Yeah. Bro, I ain't trying to disrespect my Spanish people, but like, I don't mean. <laughs> I want to think. I want to even think like that. The like get, Ecuador, yeah, I just can't believe that, bro. Number three, it's G. So number five is. Wait, G- hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. All right, let me just pull the Africa app, bro. Go I ahead, put, put, app, put up bro. the map of Africa. This is too Respect, funny. Respectfully, I gotta look this up. Bro. This is too funny. Oh man, this is too funny. <laughs> can't wait for losing. You know, I was gonna say fucking. What I don't know. Why I was gonna say Egypt. No, not Egypt. I got to get this off my dad's... Uh... Gabon? What? Gabon? That's a place in uh, Africa, bro. Nah, not Gabon. Close, though. It starts with a G. Guinea? Genia? No, not New Guinea. Not Guinea. <laughs> this nigga's pronunciation is wild. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I think it's West Africa. I'm looking West, bro. That's the only G I see, bro. Nah, you're missing one. I only see two G's, bro. Gabon, Gambia. Gambia? <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Look. What are you looking at? Where the fuck? I think it says Gambia. Bro, look, bro. Look, you ain't even know that, bro. It's a place called Gambia. <laughs> He's a, oh, Gambia. No, not Gambia. Let me see. Um, let me see. Where is that? <laughs> oh, oh, that's crazy, bro. Liberia. It's where the fuck is it? What? And this place has the has the has the biggest in the world. Nah, fifth. So who's number one? It starts with the S. In Africa. Yeah. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm about to say it right now, bro. Go ahead. Number one starts with the S. Somali. Nope. Bro, you're in that area though. You're in that area though. Sudan. Yep, Sudan is number one. No way. Sudan's number one. Oh, y- you did miss it. It's on the east coast. With the look- G? The G? Yeah, the G. It's on the east coast. Bro, okay, bro. I'm looking at the G. It bro. is by Mali, Niger. It's right next to Nigeria. It's pretty small. Eh, it's not that small. Ghana? Yep, Ghana is number five. Yo. So I've, I've literally forgot about Ghana, bro. Yeah, bro. I was trying to tell you. I'm like, you know this one. You know bruh. the friends. What is this list, bro? I, I need don't to know. see this whole list, bro. You want to see the whole list? There's there's the smallest too. What Puerto Rico's like? Where we at? Like fucking twenty, bro. No, I don't know. It's just up to ten, bro. Sorry, man. What's number ten, bro? I'm trying to look for the shit again. <laughs> bro, bro, you over? You got the meat chart over here, bro. Nigga said the meat chart. <laughs> <laughs> Penis. Sizes. Sorry, this is a kid friendly show, but we're just, you know, joking around. This is not true. Don't listen to what we're saying. It is true. This nigga's sick. Um, yeah, let me not keep looking at this on my dad's um iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's really wild, bro. So I got another question to ask for you, bro. So God is allowing you to switch bank accounts with anyone in the world. So you can switch a bank account, with Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, whoever you want. But he will get, he will put a curse on you. Every time you have sex, a natural disaster, happen. a random natural disaster will happen in your area within a 10 mile radius. A random natural disaster, 10, 15 mile radius. Bro, if anybody I'm picking, I'm getting, I'm getting flexed on, bro, with a natural disaster. So I'm at the pick. So are you gonna will you will you do that? Well, I pick the world's most richest person. Would that be too head ass? Or I could pick someone that's no. I'm saying you could pick whatever, but I'm saying would you take that deal? Would I take it? 
You get all you get that bread, but every time you have sex, a natural disaster. A natural disaster. It could be a fucking tsunami. It could be a tsunami. It could be a fucking earthquake. It could be a freaking hurricane. 10, 15 mile radius from where you're at, where you did it. I could pick like fucking uh, Jeff Bezos. You could. So you'll do it? <laughs> no. Ah, That's too good man. That's too risky. Man, bro. I can't do it either. You know what I mean? Niggas gonna die, bro. Well, I could honestly look. As bad as it sounds, the worst ones for me, I feel like it's gonna be a tsunami. Hell yeah. Imagine you just do it. You just done and I now a like wave a hit you. Or tornado, you could. Maybe finesse or earthquake, you could finesse maybe a volcano. Uh, I don't know really. Nah, a hurricane you might be able to finesse. I don't know, but bro. I feel like a tsunami is like a s- automatic death, death bro. That's what, what movie at. was it that I seen that uh, I think I know what you're talking about. That had Tom Holland in it yep. when he was like a little kid. Yep, hold on. Is it called Impossible? Me and Jay watched that movie. Hold on, what is bro. it called? When I was watching the, the way impossible, the, the impossible. I was watching the the way the mother was getting fucking rocked, bro. Was getting demolished, bro. Shit's crazy well, I, work, bro. I always thought about. I was like, bro, if you in a tsunami, bro, I need you just swim up. No, I seen that movie. Actually, changed my whole perspective. Exactly, my nigga. You gotta bro, fight the debris. She was getting fucking hit with fucking. What was it like? I think like a car came her direction underwater. Hit her bro. right in the ribs, bro. And then and she got hit a tree. A fucking tree went through her leg or some Cut shit. Cut her bro. up. Yep. Oh nope, my cool god, off, bro. Yeah, no, I, I think I could give up the... I, feel uh, like, I don't need I that. I feel like tsunami is literally the worst natural disaster. I mean, next to a fucking volcano, but... Nah, uh, tsunamis might... A tsunami... Worse than an earthquake? Like a... Like a I mean, technically... Or a tornado? Or a tornado? do call tsunamis. What about a tornado? Tornado's crazy. It depends on the tornado. If it's like... Like, I'm talking Category, about, like, fucking... The nine. biggest... No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> actually, no. Tsunami is the worst. Tsunami got it. The, the worst, uh, the worst tsunami compared to the worst tornado is terrible. That yo, you seen that the worst tsunami ever that hit Japan, bro? Bro, I was watching. Um, uh, it was like fucking. Um, it was like a scale. It was doing like sizes of fucking tsunamis that happened over time. Yeah, I think it was like back in like the nineteen hundred fucking tsunami was like fucking towering over fucking yes. everything, bro. Mm-hmm. Like a movie turn, like a movie tsunami. I can't. Like that's crazy that shit like that could really happen in the fuck. But I think it happened like in the ocean though, mm-hmm. bro. Imagine that shit happened on fucking land, bro. Bro, it's over, bro. Like it's that shit was like almost me, as tall bro. as a building, bro. Like a big wave, bro. Bro, that junk. I think it, like, I think I seen what you were talking about. It like covered like the the freaking island. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Damn, my animals are gonna get fucking f- fucked up, bro. Hell I yeah. hold you. I think it's over. I'm not even gonna bother saving them. Who boomer them? It's better sound. I don't think I'm gonna try to save anybody. As soon as I was hitting. Nick. That's even your girl, bro. Bro, you know how hard that is to try to fucking <laughs> try to. You saw that man try to look for his wife in that movie, bro. I was like, bro, he found his <laughs> wife through the fucking skin of his teeth on some lucky shit, bro. Hey, bro, I, I I'll say Jay, bro. I'll go down with the shit. I'll go down with the crib. Nah, I mean I'm gonna look for him afterwards, but like during it, bro, I'm not even going. Bro, I'm gonna try to see if I can get to safety real quick, bro. Nah, I don't I, even know. Bro. I, I got I gotta make sure she good first before me though. Bro, you gonna be make... underwater? She gonna be? You hear she over there swimming? Hey, as long as she good, bro. As long as she good, bro. But I, I got a would you rather question. I don't think I asked you a would you rather question today, bro. Except for the, the scary shits. I got one for you, bro. Oh, you do? Oh, you want to go first? All right, bro. It's go ahead. Some insects, right? All right. So the other day I was looking up the lifespans of like bugs and shit like that to see how, who got it worse. Uh-huh. These bugs type got it, they got it kind of ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> so a lifespan of a fly is 15 days. Mm-hmm. A female was only 25 days. Mm-hmm. So not even a month, my boy. Yeah. A male black widow spider lives like a month or two. Yeah. But it's only if it doesn't get eaten by the female. Uh-huh. Because the females eat the male spiders. So are you asking me which one would I rather be? Yeah. A so, black Would I rather be a black widow spider? A male one. A male black widow spider or a male fly? A male fly or... Because a black widow spider, right? The male one... You could live for a month or two and then you pass it, but like you could die quicker within that because if you mate with a female, she's gonna eat you. That's evil work. That's what I'm saying. You give her that mm mm. She mm, you delicious now, bro. I'm, like, <laughs> no, I'm really gonna eat you up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know what I heard too, bro? That a female black widow spider is thirty times larger but, than yeah. a male. That's like imagine you So then the, the, the That's the, evil work. The guy he in the video he put in human turn, he said, bro. As like you weigh two hundred pounds, uh-huh. she weighs six thousand pounds. 
Nah. <laughs> Imagine having sex with a, a big that's behemoth, bogus. bro. So basically, that's climbed, like having sex with Godzilla. Basically, he's climbing on her, then he like puts his little um his sperm sacks on her. Just <laughs> carries with him. Then I guess he tries to he tries to crawl away. She's like, Nah, nigga, I'm gonna and eat then, you now. Okay. What's the last? What's the, the and last? Then a, a bee drone is forty eight days. Uh huh. And then a mosquito is four days, up to four months. Four months. Yeah, up to four months. Up to four. If I don't die. If you don't die between those months, that's what I'm saying. You got to think about the 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 um the daily lives these flies, these animals, these bugs got to go through, bro. So would I rather? I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not gonna be a black widow spider. I was gonna say. Wait, let, let me just let me just think about it. So would I rather be a, a male fly, fly a male black widow spider? Male fly lives for 15 days. A male black widow spider lives for a month or two, if not eaten early before that. A uh, male, a uh, bee drone lives forty eight days, uh huh, or a mosquito lives, lives four, four days, months. or four months. It lives four days up to four months. So four days to four months. Yeah, because then that's four days. You could, they, I could die from you some. Could pass away for some, for some. Getting shit. eaten. It's, it's easy for a mosquito to die within four days. Yeah, yeah. But they could live up to four months. Ooh, that's a good question. Loki, I was gonna take the black widow spider because I think I could, I will kill that fucking bitch. No, you is not. I will I just, kill that bitch. I just told you. I will kill that is spider. Thirty times larger than you, my boy. Fight back. You just you just gonna see me. That's like you trying to fucking fight a, a hippo, basically, nigga. That's go. That's like imagine me. Like bro. just imagine that that video of me. Like you gonna see me with a stick going like this. Nah, bro. You getting you getting fucked up, bro. She gonna wrap you up in the web, bro. Bro, two hundred pounds compared to six thousand pounds. Who's winning that battle? You're you're David and Goliath, bro. bro. And look, you're six thousand pounds of agileness. You ain't slow because you big. You just you just hefty. Okay, either I'm either taking the black widow spider or the bee. No, if I'm the bee, I'm literally a a freaking punk my whole life. Forty eight days, but you could low key get jumped. If, exactly. If you um, cause I know bee. I think if I'm not picking that fly, cause I think a bee, right? If it brings back the wrong scent to the hive, <laughs> he go they go beat my ass. They, they what bees do? They fucking form a ball around the bee, and just and beat? they they flap their wings and it like overheats the bee inside. That's evil work. Nah. <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, that's nah, bad. They, they basically they form a ball on top of you and they just they flap they, they fly on no, you. No, 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 no. So I mean, I think I, got, I have to take the fly the the, the mosquito. I got your best friend's probably the, the fly or the mosquito. But the how long was the fly again? Fifteen days. Fifteen days, bro. <sighs> nah, I take the fly. I take the mosquito, the bro. The female lives twenty five days. Hell no, I'm a they, dude. The females though. always get it good, bro. I'm gonna take. What are you gonna pick? I'm taking mosquito. That's crazy work. That's a terrible death, bro. You could be a bee, bro. You they, just make sure you can't bring home <laughs> the wrong scent, bro, bro. What if I do it by accident? Like I, I, I hit <laughs> the flower, bro. You uh, tell me they're gonna make me into a, a, a human, a uh, bee oven? Basically, they gonna cook me? That's evil, bro. Honestly, Mother Nature is evil sometimes, bro. I would have, I would have to pick. Oh, move over to your left a little bit, or you, you can to, move the you can move the thing over. I might to. pick the mosquito, honestly. That's what I'm saying. I picked the mosquito. You moving big, you moving big and big and big groups, low key. As as long as I don't get eaten by like a frog. Like if like here's the thing with mosquitoes: if you're biting a bug, you was good, but a human, they gonna smack the hell out of you. You might get smacked if they don't if they don't they don't see you. I'm saying, damn, that's a good, that was a good question. I, all right, I got I got another would you would you rather question. So would you rather? Be paralyzed from the waist up. Yeah, so you could walk, but the top of your body is paralyzed. Is my head, is my head or my head like this? You just like, am I like this? Just looking around. Bro? Yeah, you just looking around. No way, my neck paralyzed too, so I can't even. Nah, you can't move nothing. I'm a Lego figure, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> or make ten million people, ten million random people go blind in an instant. So I get paralyzed from the waist up. Or you get... Or I make 10, 10 million, million people, people go blind. blind. 10 million people... God's getting clipped. <laughs> what if it's your mother? Nah, I can't. The chance of that happening is rare. What do you mean? That's, oh, that's fucked up. The chance of that happening is rare for my Bro, you can again. still walk. You can still walk, bro. Nah, bro. What you mean? Bro... What the, what's the point of walking if everything on top of you was, <laughs> was useless, bro? Bro, just think about it. You can still... You're just going to be in like a big brace to hold you up. You cool. Nah, you can still bro. see. You're going to take vision away from other people. Bro, but like... You know how useless that is? Imagine... Just to have legs. Bro. That's it? <laughs> it's just a leg. Just boy. imagine a kid just... A kid. A normal kid. He just wakes up one day. Can't see. 
Bro, that's his fault, bro. What you mean? That's your <laughs> fault. That is your fault, bro. Don't tell you to wake up that day. That is your <laughs> nah, nah, bro. That is your fault, nah, bro. bro. I'm not doing that to myself. Why? Niggas is selfish, bro. There are 7 billion people. 10 million people? Bro, they still alive. They're just blind, bro. That's a terrible life. Imagine a kid like one years old. He can't see bro, shit. I gotta fucking live a shitty life, though, right? <laughs> nah, bro. What the hell, bro? Nah, what are you doing? Nigga... Oh, you being paralyzed, bro? Sorry, nah, bro. I, I, I was hoping I, I could switch you so I could say the ten million people you go love, blind. You, you love, you love the folks, bro. I know you, I know you want to be paralyzed. No, nah, I'm, I'm ten million people going blind, bro. <laughs> Drop a giant <laughs> flashbang. Nah, bro, that's sick, bro. Like you know how they had the nuke, bro? F that. Drop a giant flashbang. Imagine, imagine it wasn't a nuke but a big flashbang just blinded people. See this? See, I'd rather some shit cause them to go blind than me just. Then me just causing a chain of reaction of just I don't know where blindness. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just wake up. It's like, black. All right, what if there's a nuke, right? Uh huh. Oh, that God. doesn't blow nothing up. It's just a big ass flash that fucking literally blinds people, bro. I think they're making that in the works. That's evil. Like that's terrible. Like a, an exploding sun. That's actually evil. That might I mean, be worse some, than some a nuke. radiation might happen. It has, something. Similar. It has to. If it's that big, what a giant flash well, nothing, nothing gonna explode, so you you won't be eviscerating on shit like that. Nah, bro. you just can't see. Or what if it just evaporates your eyes? <laughs> Niggas just create the next doomsday <laughs> weapon. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Yo, look, so I got this right. When I was talking about the 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 male spiders getting eaten, right? So yeah. I got a list of animals that actually eat their mates, right? Uh huh. And what would you be? Okay. So a green anaconda. A green anaconda. Yes. Yeah. They eat their mates. Uh huh. So basically, they mate with multiple snakes, though. Yeah, yeah. So a female will mate with like fucking ten motherfuckers at the same time. Who's eating them? The the woman's eating them. Yes. Oh no. Nah. She uh, eats about ten male snakes after they have sex with her. Wow. Which Imagine. is sick, right? And then says a lot about females, bro. Yo, that's what I'm saying. This is the Animal <laughs> Kingdom shows a lot about fucking females. We were just talking about this in the beginning, bro. That's hard. that's where that's crazy work, bro. Octopus. An octopus? They eat, they eat the mates due to... Because, like... They eat the mates because... They kind of have more of a reason. Because when male octopuses, like... um When they um give their seed up... Uh-huh. They, like... They're low-key dying. Yeah. So the female's like, all right, bro, I'm gonna just eat you. Put you out of your misery. Okay, that's kinda, not bad. in a way. That's not... Wait, so after he has sex, he's just dead? He's just, like, depleted? He's, like, kind of getting depleted, bro. Wow. That's a... That's, like... That's, like, a bee when they lose their stinger. Yeah, basically, right? And then jumping spiders... Jumping spiders. Males do a dance for the females. Uh huh. And if she doesn't like you dancing, she's gonna eat you. <laughs> so if you don't bust no moves, right? She's um, gonna consume you. Okay. Uh, and then pray mantis. Oh no 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 no! I never know. That's <laughs> terrible. So females, what they do? They they send out a signal to a motherfuckers to come come here. Like you're on ready to mate. Yeah. But when you come to mate with her. You're literally getting prone to like you're gonna be attacked by her mainly, and they usually start with the head. What they eat you? Eat- they start eating you from the head, taking all your all your nutrition for your body. From after from we stuff. made it, after they made, they literally start eating your head. So after like as soon as ah oh, damn. So who would you be? A green anaconda, mm-hmm. octopus, a jumping spider, or a praying mantis? I think I might have to do the. It's either the anaconda or the, the, the octopus. I might say it's jumping spider. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Gotta make sure I bust the moves, my boy. <laughs> Nigga's gonna dance. Gotta make sure. Yo, make your sure. fate is, be- is if you could dance. Bro. <laughs> Think about you right now. Bro, but look, bro. My fate is a 50-50 chance. As an octopus, you're gonna automatically probably be dead right after that. Nigga, that's just like, like just imagine. Just imagine you get one good one off and you just die. Bro, but like, like I can't, just imagine the best one ever. Bro, I can't be a green anaconda because it's no way in hell that <laughs> one snake takes out ten snakes, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> bro? I'm saying an octopus. If like that's like my one time, and it's just like that one release, and now I'm just dead. Just take me out of my misery, bro. But like, why, bro? Why can't you just want to be a spider and have a 50-50 chance? If you bustling the moves, think about you, you right now. Can you really dance? Yeah, bro. I'm busting. Nigga, you gonna be like this. But like, yo, but like I heard the way the jumping spot, they they jump off the wall, they do all types of shit, bro. So you feel me? I'm a good creator, bro. No, bro, I can't. Being do a that. Mantis is automatically. Hell no! Look, as soon as you have sex, you dead. Yeah, bro. That's auto- a terrible way to die too. Start eating your head is crazy. That's wild. Just for the head, bro. I one of the one of the of the animal ins, of the animals when they give birth, like mm-hmm. they, and they have the male. Do they think like yo? You gonna eat when you get older? Nah, I think. Mm, 
that's like the same thing as like a. I feel like it's already just like bred in their mind, like how yeah. we just like. It probably just think be like, bro, it. we don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna make with somebody else now. I know spiders. They lay like fucking um, uh, like five thousand, like fucking two hundred eggs, bro. Yeah, but that's crazy work, though. That's really, though, the animal kingdom and our kingdom is really just the same shit, bro. bro. It's just not to that extreme. Some animals that are just like consuming each other. Oh, that man. cannibalism. But I heard mainly the females do it literally because yo, because look, I'm assuming right because it's the animal kingdom, so your access to food isn't that great. So in a way, the mm-hmm. animals look at it like yo. This is a good way for me to get a great meal real quick mm-hmm. for my baby. So I'm going to consume you. But like, think, okay, now. Like I heard, like I think that's one of the main reasons why, uh, like the anacondas do it. Yeah. They eat the 10 meals. So imagine you eating 10 snakes. So you should be good for a couple weeks yeah, while yeah. you're pregnant. So that's some good nutrients for the baby. Uh-huh. So I can understand it. But in the, in the sense for the males, bro, get the fuck out of there, bro. Yo, imagine, right? Oh my God. That just got me thinking of some weird ass shit. I don't think this is true, but this is some sick shit. So imagine, right, back in the days, like, say, because, like, we, at, like, animals and humans are low-key the same thing, genetic, like, not really genetically, but, like, well, we're as like, in, like, human, like, males and female-wise. We're another form of animal, basically. Yeah, we're wise. another form of animal. So imagine, right, imagine humans, like, after you had sex with a girl, like, she would kill you afterwards. Like, she would just get angry and kill you afterwards. And but, we- but, like, that, it was part of history, and like they, they like there was like a whole uprising, and they changed the history, and that's why there was like you know, <laughs> women's rights is like so bad. Bro, no, it's, you know, low key is, is bad. I feel like low key cannibalism was kind of okay, like way way back in the days. It was nigga. What like imagine, bro? We were Neanderthals. We was hungry. If we was hungry, we see bro, somebody. Just looked at you and said, "Yo, we gonna eat you, my <laughs> boy." Like, yo, you look a little good right now, bro. No, nah, but like if, if females back in there were doing it after sex, like imagine after you plant the seed, like and then they say now you is mine. Cause think about cause think about it like this, right? Like you know, right? Like girls, like they be like doing like like they be horny before it happened, but afterwards they just be like like the, the post nut clarity or whatever. They just be, yeah, like, for them, be like. So imagine oh, for them, they just kill you. You dead now. You dead that's to the, me. That's their nut clarity. They just kill you. Cl- they get clarity after they murder you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's bad, bro. Thank God we don't live like that, bro. That we gotta fight for our lives, bro. It's a good thing we we have more of a you know moral society, good, good thinking and conscious and all that. Them animals probably dead. Just be like, yo, I'm about to get this nut off, and that's it. Nah, and then it's okay. Imagine you get a, consumed, bro. Imagine this is a surprise, bro. That's <laughs> they what I'm didn't saying. know that. That's what I'm saying. I feel like what animals, they just they just act. We 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 think about shit before we do something. Mm-hmm. Them motherfuckers just do it, bro. That's it's animal nature. Like we all got animal nature in us, bro. I, I feel can, like like hormones like you know girls and boys they do have hormones right yeah like bro. we give they give off like hormones and shit I know bro it's weird bro it's it's a weird world bro but I think it's gonna smell you <laughs> all right I got one last question do you have any more questions no 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 I got one last question before we end the pod so you're being offered this amount of money for the rest of your life so you can only make minimum wage for the rest of your life. Like, you can't make no more than minimum wage. So I'm talking about $15. Minimum wage. $15 for the rest of your life. You can't get no more bread. Or you can make $1 million a year, but you are hunted down by a random person. And if they touch you, they will kill you. What do you mean you touch me? Like, just... Yeah, they just go like this. You're and dead. I'm dead? Yeah. The The stipulation is that it's not none of your family. It's nobody that you know, but it's somebody... It's a random person you don't know. And, like... He can't sprint. He's walking. He's just walking. So we could be walking down Times Square. Yep. And he can just... He'd be like... He'll pass you by just go like this. Like, excuse me. Dead. Honestly? What you doing? I'm taking that chance. I think I'm taking that chance too. Bro, because like but, now since I'm getting bread like this a year, mm-hmm. I'm going to build a nice security foundation for me. Bro, I'm saying... You thinking like me, bro. You feel me, bro? Make wait, sure, wait. Bro, make sure nobody touch me. <laughs> This is what I'm doing, right? This is what I'm doing. But what if I create some Iron Man suit, bro? Okay, I don't know. You lost me. Bro, you, you do. Lost me. And like, basically... They you t- only have a million dollars a year. Dumb touching the... Oh, yeah, you're right. That's not enough <laughs> money for an Iron Man suit. I need like... How many years it took to get an Iron Man suit? I Nigga, you need like 20, maybe. You need like another 30 years? I don't got 30 years. Exactly, bro. That, bro. This is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get a crib. Nice big crib. Have the people that I know and love it live got, in that it, crib it, with me. It has to be... Like secure. No, it got to be a crib that's like in the, off somewhere by itself, like no neighbors, no none of that shit. Yeah, in the mountains or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I need. That's what I'm saying. And I don't then, even know about no mountains, bro. You gotta be like 
I'm not trying to be ahead of, but like how my man Tony Stark was living. Like you living like a fucking cliff on a beachside. Nah, I, I don't. Maybe, maybe. Because I can't be in the woods and then I know motherfuckers probably praying. But think about it. You could see him. He's just he's just walking up to you. So I just need, I just need security so and cameras. What if I beat his ass? You can't touch him. You can't beat him up. You can't kill him. You're not going to die. He only going to die. Don't have someone kill him. No, he can't die. Yo, what the? The only fuck? way he died, he's never going to die. For the rest of my life. For the rest of your life, you have somebody hunting you down. I'm telling you, bro. I don't know. That's kind of now you're saying like for the rest of my life. That's kind of annoying. Now, I know you always gotta look over your shoulder and shit. What if I'm but, like six years old? I'm like, bro, I don't even feel like, like I might just say, fuck it, you'll touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, but like, like say he finds me because like he's like on another part of the world right now. He can get on planes. He can get on boats and shit. Yeah, that but would be, that would be like a like a little horror movie because then what if he he gets in your house and you behind the door like please please please. <laughs> Or like don't like, no, he's please. like this. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Like he's like possessed and some shit. Yeah. But like, this is what I'm gonna do. If I see him like in my front yard, I'm moving immediately across the country to Australia. I'm just gonna keep moving back and forth, back and forth. Can That's I just do, gonna be shitty. What if I can I do stuff that can move him? That don't it'll hurt him. Nah. What do you mean move him? Like he you cannot you cannot mess up his path. Bro, that's cheese, bro. I'm saying, bro. Like, what if I get like a fucking like a box? Like, put like him in a, a box, like a sturdy pillow, and just whoo, you know, <laughs> like a thick ass pillow, like a fucking. I don't know. It's like kind of hard, but that shit fucking can move you. <laughs> think it's gonna end up with the well, pillow. I get, some, I get some fucking football motherfucker as like my personal person and tackle him. Had that motherfucker tackle him. I mean, whatever you you can't knock him off his path. So he's always he's like it's like he's attached to you. So he's always gonna be following you, bro. That's like that movie. What's that movie? Uh, uh, it follows. It follows. Yeah, that was like that bitch. Just like that. Imagine just like that. I'm pa- I can't pass on to somebody. No, you can't pass on to nobody. Oh no, nigga. Bro, I don't know if I'm, now that I'm thinking about. I don't know if I want to do that for the rest of my life. Minimum That's- wage, fifteen dollars an hour. Let me let me see that. Fifteen dollars an hour for the rest of your life, bro. First of all, you gotta look at the average life life lifespan of a human, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Wait, do 15 times $40 a week, 40 a week, 15 times 40. How much is that? 600. $600. Do 600 times 52. 31. <laughs> $31,000 a year for the rest of your life, bro. That's not, that's not worth that. And that's if you work like every day, like you can't take no breaks. All right, we're going to say a million times. What? You gotta live for 40 years, right? What? I mean, you're gonna spend that million. It's 40 mil. I know, but like, you could put that into stocks and bonds. You can get money out of that shit. Nigga, you can't live off of minimum but wage for the rest of your life. Is, is a million a year really worth it now if you're getting followed to get killed? I'm now saying. I'm thinking, I don't think that was worth it. You don't think so? If it was like a million every six months. Like a, like more money, like, like a million mil- a month? Like, like two million a year, basically. Nah, bro. I'm saying, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. I'm just gonna, it's gonna take a lot of moving. Jay gonna hate it though, cause she gonna, she hate moves. She gonna be moving like, a lot. Bro, you can't even enjoy like a a resort now. I yeah, know you can't. You can't travel. Like you can't travel a lot. But I'm still gonna do it though. A million years, nigga. I can't live on. Cause like, ways. what if you fuck it? What? I'm thinking like, what if you on the beach? With, you on the beach, and then you just see that motherfucker come not, and you got, oh, you got, yo, I gotta grab all my shit, and I gotta and run. You trip on the sand and shit like that, bro. <laughs> fuck, bro. I should, I should give me. That shit's gonna be annoying, bro. Nigga, I'm I'm always looking over my shoulder every Fuck day for the rest bro. of my life, bro. I'm gonna do it, bro. Same, bro. You can do it. You and can do if, it. If you kill me, do I just fucking do I just like pass out? No, you die. Like you just imagine you just collapse. Like <laughs> it's a part. Of, it's a it's a uh, um a scene of Rick and Morty where this motherfucker's like, if you touch me, you're literally gonna die. <laughs> he literally touched him. He just fucking passed away, bro. Like he just felt like what you just said. I'm saying, I'm bro. Patient like that. That's what I'm saying. Patient just know like if I that. I don't know go out like that, bro. It's kind of whack. What you mean? How you want to go out, my nigga? Nigga just tap me and my soul just eviscerated, bro. Literally just sends you right up. It's like one touch sends you up, bro. And I'm going to do it. All right, I'm saying, bro. Guy, do what you gotta do for I'm the bread. Do it. I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm saying it's not worth. It's literally not worth it, but we know we. Humans it's better than minimum wage. We, God we, damn, we, we greedy for money type shit. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Huh, man. Keeping it cool over here type shit. Thank you again for pulling up for yeah. another episode, bro. Thank y'all again for tuning into another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode 124. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video right now. Jordan says 60 likes. 
or we're coming to your crib tomorrow morning. And I said 200 likes for that Ouija board. <laughs> I don't know if we doing. I don't think y'all can get 200. But let I us think, know in the comments. I think what, we could get 200. Let us really know in the comments. That. All that stuff. And yeah. Any last words? Gangsta. I think it's weird. We different. There ain't no records, man. Gangsta. Gangsta.